All praise the most high and it's only so easy, so easy. Yahoo. Launch your assault now. Take it easy. All praise the most high and his only begotten son. Raise your weapon. Hold on, Zion. We ain't got long. Raise your weapon. We win in the end. One word. Turn back while it's still time. Long live the king. Mikhail's a deck order, so you can keep your bribes and paper. Tour is where we labor and anticipate the savior. We're wiser in our ways and in the nature of our phrases. The world worship creations, oblivious to the creator. Marking yourself for death is you the best at pleasing flesh. Concerned with paychecks and spiritually a train wreck. Isaiah 66 and 4, see we give to the delusions. God I keep calling our name, but we keep right on what we doing. Bloodline royals, the highest, steady act. Them like dogs, so the Abba has turned his face and his eaters that had a ball. We epitomize lost sheep, comatose in his sleep. So the day of wrath gon' creep in the night like a thief. Mama just wanna have fun, daddy can't stay on his feet. Son got his hands on a gun, and now he dead in the streets. Daughter, nobody tried to teach, now she's showing her teeth. Black banks won't save a soul, we need your harbors out by old. Through the pain and the rain, we survive and remain, sending prayers to the throne from here to Guatemala. It's a strange staying sane, but we got so much to gain. Just hold on, we ain't got long. Quam Yashra Allah. Through the pain and the rain, we survive and remain, sending prayers to the throne from here to Guatemala. It's a strange staying sane, but we got so much to gain. Just hold on, we ain't got long. Quam Yashra Allah. Trying to see a brighter day. Walking through darkness, sinning every second, still don't know on where his heart is. Trying to obey, but it's okay, cause he a target. And Satan got his demons out here, trying to start shit. Wrong nigga to go to war with, pause it. Otherwise, end up like the fallen, so fallen, all in. Any given day can be a coffin. And it's a fight that's worth brawling. Walking blind because his heart done got hardened. And if it knew better, then I bet to keep his charges all we stuck in the game another cartridge waiting on the next player year to come and start it regardless how lawless and often they call it a off with the lost it and lost we be die in obedience when they all for me and hope the lord don't want to slaughter me till then look both ways when you cross the street through the pain and the rain, we survive and remain, sending prayers to the throne from here to Guatemala. It's a strange staying sane, but we got so much to gain. Just hold on, we ain't got long. Quam Yashra Allah. Through the pain and the rain, we survive and remain, sending prayers to the throne from here to Guatemala. It's a strange staying sane, but we got so much to gain. Just hold on, we ain't got long. Quam Yashra. I give praise and thanks today because there's no promise for tomorrow. I drown this sorrow because I watch my people follow. Man, instead of him, they read to live, they life condemned. Instead of the one that bore our sins, at the end, he'll come again. Without I, you don't have him get left with HM. Without I, they won't see the kingdom last within them. Without I, your souls condemned. Now, do you follow him? Without I, do you get the message that I'm giving? Page one, Kermit's son, let me tell you what they done. I gave them price of death, but they turned back to that wicked one. This time, Israel is done. I heard you, Father, tell me more. Israel is that spiritual whore. My son is that spiritual Lord. Tell me what you serve me for. I serve because I believe that the prophecies prophesied of him. The angel in that burning bush is him. Our Lord, the master, boy, our iniquity would let me so condemned to the end. I follow him. Through the pain and the rain, we survive and remain, sending prayers to the throne from here to Guatemala. It's a strange staying sane, but we got so much to gain. Just hold on, we ain't got long. Quam Yashra Allah. Through the pain and the rain, we survive and remain, sending prayers to the throne from here to Guatemala. It's a strange staying sane, but we got so much to gain. Just hold on, we ain't got long. Quam Yashra Allah. Free slaves, my ass. My back still getting whooped, and I ain't got no 40 acres in a mule. Sons of light represent the gospel. Long live the king, Yahoo.
Bloodline Royal, lost true Israel, means prince of the power, victims of sinning from the beginning, fell out of favor with father, tossed headlong out the holy land by the Lord's own hand, we've been confused with black Egyptians, so we hid in with ham, next got thrown on the ships, language was stripped from our lips, culture got ripped from our hands, show us who these curses fit, separate wheat from the turf, pray you don't fall through the sift, your soul ain't resting in peace, if you live in wickedness, the Bible tells the truth about this, so they lie about that, turn history into his story, and omitted the facts, Nazi servants ride no horses, kings are dying in the dirt, and princes of my holy people walking slaves on the earth, low down no good, dirty ass pastor, keep running from truth, won't warn you about saving your soul, you want them dollars from you, you shaking hands with the devil, but you don't know what you facing, a cult and riding goats and oats, secret societies and masons. Serving of the Lord, that's my occupation. He coming with a sword to subdue all the nations. It's time to settle scores, put things in proper places. The facts we gotta face it, chosen nation, son of David. Serving of the Lord, that's my occupation. He coming with a sword to subdue all the nations. It's time to settle scores, put things in proper places. The facts we gotta face it, chosen nation, son of David. If you sit in his pocket and got it, trust his wallet. Lost people think that they get it. To follow him, it's your option. Don't want the fruit, but the knowledge. Look at the soul, the deposit. Since the beginning, like all of the gold is trapped in his polish. No little key, pay your homage. The Lord is pure when it's honest. Lately, I'm cleaning my closet. Look for the Lord and his promise. Get to Egypt, get this bondage. And the flesh get beyond it. They sold it, sold for some diamonds. Curse to say that we astonished. Read the world like any fetch and learn it from nothing. And it's messes, lessons that's in the whole essence. Day to day, we get intentions. Don't fall from grace, but transgressions. Just use my tongue as your message weapon. Which side you on? Is it the Lord or those that try to clone? Oops, he running out of time. Christ is on his way home. One minute you're here, the next minute, and they beg that you're gone. Turn plan for Porter to show my people we're not alone. I'm good, baby. Sir, the Lord, that's my occupation. He coming with a sword. It's up to all the nations. It's time to settle scores. Y'all are the things in proper places. The facts we gotta face it. Chosen nation, son of one second out. Shalom, Ma. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I had to get it shared up, man. I didn't know I messed around and I forgot to put my old cord on the account. So I got a paid account, 25 a month to share to the different platforms. The lap stole me last night, and uh, you know, I can't share it to, to my page. To it's like it's not a Facebook, it's like a lot of not a YouTube, so I have to share it to my page. Then I go out and spread it to different spots. You know, it's a little technical difficulties because I want to spend my time with you guys. Next time, it'll be, it'll be right. Bill, man, how you doing this morning? Man, I'm doing, man. I'm Baruch, man. I think the most high yada, I'm still breathing, to be honest, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Getting ready for his promises to be unraveled and manifested on our behalf. Absolutely. Uh, uh, so, double-mindedness is the topic for today, man. You got any? Got any? Um, it's time to restart. Computer just gonna tell me when I got to restart. That's crazy. Uh, um, yeah. You got any thoughts on double-mindedness? There seems to be a lot of it in the walk today. A lot of, you know. Uh, uh, Half-heartedness going on. Think about that. Up. <laughs> you know, that, that a man is, you know, if a person is down, in this walk is supposed to be a trust walk. It's supposed to be because it's the walk is shown by what you do to the world. So the world's to you. And it's supposed to be a trust walk. It's supposed to be a trust walk. And if you have walk trust for what the most high has spoken to you and said, man, then you a double person. 
You see what I'm saying? Because and the reason why I say what I say is because the most I gave us commandments and instructions on how we got to live our lives. And, and if you do that, that mindset of man, then that's double minded. And that's not that man think he's going to receive anything from the most high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to do. That's it, man. I want to do some scripture reading. I'm going to invite y'all, man, so we can go all these ass albums. In, in my philosophy, I'm talking about that the most high about Ruach Hakamash, Ruach Hakadash, and Ruach Hamash. He's going to bring forth whatever needs to be brought forth from that you know he'll give you the ability with me and the ability to do I articulate these things to bring it out to people so you can get well informed and educated on these things. So, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's let's uh can you pray that prayer again for us right here so I can be in agreement with you? I'm in agreement already, but you know it's... right, right, right. Um Baruch Atah Bayawala Hinu Malakha Alam. Baruch to you, Yahweh, in the rule of the world of the universe. Father Yahweh, we ask that you would uh, grant in the hearing of my brother and those, Yahweh, Abba Father, we touch and agree that you'll grant the supplication that I made to you earlier today in regards of letting your Ruach Ahmad and your Ruach HaKadosh lead. And God has given us the ability to articulate these things that the people may be edified as they hear, that eyes be open and ears may be unstopped that they may utilize the things that's bringing forth by your great Ruach, Heavenly Father, to uh, uh, walk the walk that you have called us to walk and to add unto the, our spirit man to do those things that are pleasing in your sight, Father Yahweh. Let your will be done overall. Let yeah. your will be done, Father Yahweh. Bahasham Yahusham Mashiach's name we pray. We thank you, Father Yahweh. Hallelujah. So be it. Um, I also uh, got confessed, and I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't get to my prayers this morning. You know, I'm out of town. I woke up somewhere else. You know, what I'm saying, and, uh, you look like you just woke up. Throw it off. I'm gonna throw it off on my schedule. So, uh, let me kind of, um, kind of throw my usual prayer in there. Um. Yes, sir. Let's lead, lead, out, lead us out in that right quick. Right? God, we thank you for another day. Thank you for all that you have done, for all that you will do. We humbly ask for the forgiveness of our sins, forgiveness of the sins of our forefathers, forgiveness of the sins of all those that turn from the ways to see people. We pray that you be with us and guide us and protect us. Being the same with you, we pray that the Ruach Kokodes come upon us and strengthen us and embolden us. Uh, uh, restoration and unification of us all into one mind in one way. Let it be your mind forward. Uh, 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 not cast aside with, I mean, they be not led astray with every way of doctrine. And that they cast aside every way that's so easily assist them. We pray for the strength of the weak, healing of the weak, and the freeing of the slave. We pray for the health and shalom of Darius and Uriah and Nathan. I pray for the and Yashua. Um, I pray, we pray that your Malkut come, that your will be done on earth as it is in and I killed two birds. Hey, man, the phone, the phone is sounding computerized. It's all choppy, man. So, you know. I the whole yeah. time? But yeah, well, uh, not I me mean, partial. You know, on certain things, it's clear. Some things, it's, it's, it's choppy. I don't know why it's like that. I was trying to get it where I can see it on my other phone, too, so I can see. I want to hear it if it's sounding the same thing. Or if it's just this right here, it's sounding like that on this computer. Uh, so, tuned in. 
Shabbat Shalom, Sister Till. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Till. Uh, hey, man, I got this thing subscribed even on my phone, man, and it ain't even showing, uh, it's not even popping up on my subscription, man. For It ain't on YouTube. Oh. I couldn't share it there. I'm going to have oh, to save man. it and upload it. It ain't going to be a, a live thing, man. Okay. Oh. It do sound kind of choppy because uh, I might need to turn it down a little bit. Got it up to the maximum. How was the sound and all that? Uh, I need to turn it down a little bit. I don't know. Oh, well, I may as well. I may as well just take it off. Uh, let's get started, man. Let's get up. Let's get into this Asher, man. Uh, our Uncle Asher. Drop some gem souls, man. Drop some gems about being double minded. This thing actually cut me. It actually cut me down bad first time I read it. Mm, let's get into it, man. Hopefully, it cuts some more people down. That brings correction. That's right. Man. <laughs> All right, chapter one. Asher, the ten son of Jacob and Zilpah, an explanation of a dual personality. The first Jekyll and Hyde story for a statement of the law of compensation that immersion would have enjoyed. Oh, that's something else. That's somebody, so. <coughs> the copy of the Testament of Asher. What things he spake to his sons in the 125th year of his life. But while he was still in health, he said to them, Hearken, ye children of Asher, to your father, and I will declare you all that is upright in the sight of Yah. Two ways had Yah given to two ways had Yah given to the sons of men, and two inclinations, and two kinds of action, and two modes of action, and two issues. Therefore, all things are by twos, one over against the other. But there are two ways of good and evil, and with these are the two inclinations in our breasts, discriminating them. Therefore, if the soul take pleasure in the good inclination, all its actions are in righteousness. And if it sin, it straightway repent it. For having its thoughts set upon righteousness and casting away wickedness. It straightway overthroweth the evil and uprooted the sin. But if it incline to the evil inclination, all its actions are in wickedness. And it driveth away the good and cleaveth to the evil. And is ruled by the liar. Even though it work what is good, he perverted it to evil. So I want to Expound on any of that? Tell it again. Yeah, I wanted to expound on real quick, man, and break down uh incl incline to incline, man. I want to feel, uh, get the definition of incline real quick. All right, That's for good. those man, so it could be uh, it's a lot of people that that read words, man, and don't know the full definition thereof, man, and they just go on by and not really uh wholeheartedly seeking and wanting to know and get understanding and comprehension of what that word is saying. So yeah, let's look up the word incline. Leaning or turning away from the vertical or horizontal sloping and what is going to be inclined to something. Okay, after you read that definition right there, and I look up inclined etymology so people can find out the real root of that right, right there. So know what that is, that function thereof. That's what we say in our prayer. Lead us not to evil. Uh, lead us not, uh, 
uh, lead us not into temptation, deliver us from the evil one, meaning deliver us from the evil inclination. Uh, to do something, inclined to something, be likely to do something, or behave in a particular way, or, uh, yeah, pretty much to, to be likely to do, most likely, you know what I'm saying, the uh, uh, probable to do, you know what I'm saying? Right, now go to etymology, go to incline etymology, type in incline etymology. Etymology, etymology. Do you do? Check that out. Now up, up to the front, the very the you can go out to the that okay. Listen, go back, go back real quick. Go back. Go back. Now go all the way to the top where you see that in blue and it's tatted right there. I want you to go right there. Then you can go to the next one after you do that, but I want you to go right there. It says Latin. Oh, Latin. Oh. Right, the origin of his Latin in is towards, then clanere, clanere is to bend, so towards bending to the desire of the evil of doing wrong, right? Right, inclination, inclanere that's where that word comes from. And then you can go back to that etymology thing, and it's gonna give you something. I just don't, sometimes on definitions of words, I don't like when I use the word to define the word, you don't get no. A comprehension from using a word to define a word type thing, you know, for those that are that need that extra, you know what I mean? Because you got some, you the truth about it is, you got a lot of people, you got some people out here that's intelligent that can comprehend it, got some common sense, you got some people that don't and they need that extra help and boost. It's not knocking them, it's just that you, know, you have to do some extra sometimes. Okay, okay. Uh, to bend towards, head towards, trying mm -hmm. towards. The, the, you know. In one way, a particular fashion. All right, but as far as the whole, uh, um, what it's saying for having its thoughts on us, let's go up six. So that to find the six. So to five, there are two ways of good and evil, and with these are the two inclinations in our breast discriminating against them. So saying is that it's only two ways to be. Hot or cold, good and evil. That's right. Therefore, if the soul take pleasure in the good inclination, all its actions are in righteousness. And if it, and if it sin, it straightway repent it. That's right. So it tells you there to have a good inclination. It's best to have a good inclination and to take pleasure in it, to lean towards good things. Righteous things. You know, you can't be... That's why you can't eat at the table of idols, like Paul said. You know, you can't you can't eat at the table of the most high Yah and then eat at the table of idols. That's right. Got to pick a side. Um, uh, uh, give me a favor. Read uh read on on down seven and eight. <clears throat> All right. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. For having its thoughts set upon righteousness and casting away wickedness, it straightway overthroweth the evil and uprooteth the sin. But if the but if it incline to the evil inclination, all its actions are in wickedness, and it driveth away the good and cleaveth to the evil, and is ruled by Belair. Even though it work what is good, he perverted it to evil for whenever it beginneth to do good he forces the issue of the action into evil for him seeing that the treasure of the inclination is filled with an evil spirit evil ruach. a person then may with words help the good for the sake of the evil yet the issue of the action leadeth to mischief a person then may with words, help the good for the sake of the evil, yet the issue of the action leadeth to mischief. There is a man who showeth no compassion upon him who serveth his turn in evil. And these thing, and this thing, bath two aspects. Excuse me, bath two, bath, bath two aspects. But the whole, half. huh? I think it's half. Oh, it's half two aspects. Okay, <laughs> bath. 
I have two aspects, but the whole is evil. There is a man who showeth no compassion upon him who serveth his turn in evil. What you got going on over there? Uh, <clears throat> and it, it, it has two aspects, but the whole is evil. And there was a man that loveth him that worketh evil, because he would prefer even to die in evil for his sake. And concerning this, it is clear that it hath two aspects, but the whole is an evil work. Though indeed he have, move that, move that, is that a, move that, uh, have, have love. Okay. Yeah. Though indeed he have love, yet is he wicked who concealed what is evil for the sake of the good name. But the end of the action tendeth unto evil. Another stilleth, doeth unjustly, plundereth, defraud, and withal pitieth the poor. This too hath a twofold aspect, but the whole is evil. Real quick, that's like, uh, you know, man, I had to say, I had to sell some dope to do some good. You know what I mean? I had to do a little bad. You know what I mean? Oh, my, my, my reason for doing so, man, is because, look, I'm just using this for a stepping stone because I, I didn't have nothing to go and I had to do this evil because I wanted to get this, this job and get this business so it can be some good done for the people. That's not How about this. Is. I had to buy the bike to go to work. Right, 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 right. That's 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 not good, man. That's not it. That's it. And you know what? That's really a slap in the face of our ancestors who made a stand for not breaking the Shabbat. With uh, people try to get them to break the Shabbat or even break any other commandments, uh, they stood for it. They died for it. They they laid down their lives for the upkeep of the commandments of the Most High Yah, which is that in in essence, uh, upkeeping uh, loyalty to the Most High Yah. You see what I'm saying? Facts. They put yeah. their line, man. Life and limb. Yeah. You got people who don't want to risk unemployment. <laughs> you know, I don't. Uh, I don't see it, man. You That's know? That's cold, but go ahead. I, I'm, I'm, man. There's so much to say on that. I'm so much to say on that issue, man. What are we here for? Cast them out. Yeah, man. It's, man. They, they, they rather. I got to do this. I got to listen. The most high know what, 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 where we in. We're not in a land no more where we was able to do everything that we want to do. Now we in. We put our, our answers to put our, us in this situation. You got to make a stand. Now you got to show your loyalty. You got to prove it. You gotta prove who you loyal. You gotta prove who servant you are by what you by who you serving, whom you yield yourself to obey. That's who servant you are. You see what I'm saying? And it's only two inclinations. You got the inclination that come from the father, and you got the inclination that come from Belair. Talk about it. And Belair, his instructions and stuff like this gonna be contrary to what the father say. But yes, see, sir. that's where that that's the where that corrupt wisdom come in at. That corrupt teaching of the corrupt man, I got look, you, 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 reason that, that that false reason where the enemy come in, you shall not surely die. Listen, you got to take care of your family. <laughs> you shall not surely, right? Man, come on now, we got to wake up. We got to be hip to Satan's devices. The most I told us to do, but you know what? Let me tell you something. This is a good thing to, to help encourage us too. Like Job, when Job did what he did, he was standing up for righteousness and everything, but the most I allowed that stuff to come up on him. And he 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 endured until the end. What he what do we mean endure? He endured until that time that test was over. He proved himself. Then the Most High gave him double for his trouble. Same with our, our people. If they would just be loyal to the one who owns everything, he owned a cow a cattle on a thousand hill and the hill that the cattle was on. He owned it all, man. And you can't not you cannot with uh, you know what I'm not for the dude. I'm for to make a stand for the Most High. Yeah, yeah. You know this is uncomfortable. Yeah, but I'm standing for you. You don't think he's gonna honor you for honoring him? And a lot of people don't know. Job was given a promise that he would have such and such things. You know what I'm saying? And it's like this. He held fast to that. That's why I ain't nothing shake him. He's like, this came from the most high. He said, the most high told me I'm going to have something. He said, I'm going to have it. Oh, that's good. I, I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought that up. We pinging now. Check this out. Uh, uh, Father Abraham with his son. See, when the, when the, when the most high, when he sent the message to tell him to go uh, sacrifice his son and lay the son, he, look, he, he didn't waver in his trust to the most high. Yeah, he already knew that the father told him he was going to have an inheritance, uh, a person that inher uh, 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 a person that he can give inheritance to. So he was like, okay, if he kill him, he can bring him back, bring him back. So he didn't waver. He, he trusted me another son. If I'm going to be the father of any nation. He, he right. So, look, there you go. You got to hold on to the promises. The most high. Yah is not looking. 
infutable things, these two infutable things, that the Most High Yah is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man he repent. His word is true. Hold on to his promises and you're going to see what he's going to give you if you endure to the end. But you have to endure. If you fall before the race, before the race is over, you ain't going to re re receive any consolation. Mm. Let a double mind, if a man is a double minded and all this, he's unstable in all his ways. Let that man, if he asks anything to the most high, let that man think he received to receive anything. He ain't gonna receive nothing because he double minded. Hey, hey, uh, yeah, I'm realizing that whole thing about turn for me, depart for me. I never yeah. knew that's gonna be because people never really been in the truth for real, right? But they've been under this belief. That's good. Doing something. Like I've been casting out in your name. Like man, you ain't really been you ain't really been casting out nothing. You ain't really been doing nothing, man. That's good, huh? Oh, yeah. there, yo, you really really been out here faking. You know what I'm right. saying? I never knew you because you never really came into the real knowledge of what this is, into the real right. of it, man. And there's people right. that, man, there's people out here, you know, really so called doing the work or so called you know, uh, uh, this pillars in the in the truth and all that, man. And it's all it's all vanity. Yeah, it is, man. Man, that's a fact. I, I'm glad, man. Y'all are so awesome, man. That's look. They have a strong delusion that they under because they have no love for the truth. We know what the truth is now. The Most High has given us this truth. We read about it. We see about it. We hear about it. But we don't. Uh, Practically apply all the truth to it. You know what I mean? In our lives, in our lifestyle, man. That's just we gotta be honest, man. That's the only way that we're gonna be delivered if we be honest and true about it. That's how can the, the one who don't lie say, I never knew you. So right. him saying I never knew you, there was never a time that he actually knew you. Otherwise, he would be a lie. It wouldn't be like I never knew you. I knew you once upon a time, and then you know he said, I never knew you. Hey, uh, I want my name to ring bells in the shamayim. No <laughs> I got to do, man. I'm trying to be well known up there. You know, that, that, that uh, you know, well known in the earth, that ain't gonna mean that. No, man. That's that, that's what the people have been doing for such a long time because they follow the traditions of man and love the praise of each other and not to honor the most high. The most high already said in his word that if you honor me, I will honor you. What's honoring the father? Honoring me is by keeping my if you love me, keep my commandments, not what men say are the ideas of what they think it is. Follow my instructions. I gave you that was look the parable with the rich man and Lazarus. Uh, when he was down there and, and the rich man, I'm about I'm gonna go for the for the sake of time. He said, Hey man, send somebody from the dead to go warn the people. He's like, Nah, look, they got the law, they got the prophets. They got yeah, I already gave them instruction. I know right. what we need to do to be saved, but they're gonna have to seek it out. They're gonna have to seek it out, they're gonna have to want it. Like, that's the only way. That's the, the look. Y'all been screaming this from the beginning. Look, turn wholeheartedly. Look, Shema Yashah Yahweh Lahano Yahweh Chad, and you shall love Yahweh with all. That means the whole heart, the whole everything, man. Like really seeking, not being lazy in your studying and researching, or just thinking it's sufficient because somebody preaching on something and you just read that little insert that they told you to read instead of following, seeking, searching, and seeking for yourself wholeheartedly. You ain't gonna find them like that. That's why I don't. That's why he gonna say I never knew you. Because you ain't searching all the way. You're not doing it. You going. You think it's sufficient that, you know, you liking the way that it's feeling, keeping feast days and wearing fringes and head wrap, doing all this other stuff instead of doing what thus said, yeah, according to what he said in his instructions on how he said to do things, period. So, man. So yeah, so we got to break all that mess, man. And you're going to have some naysayers. You're going to have some people when they feel it. So what? Get over it. Where you want to be? You want to be in the kingdom or you want to be in hell? Which one? It's your choice. It's only two. Uh, it's only two, just like he said earlier in his testimony. It's only uh, two ways. He's gonna say it the whole thing. The whole thing is about two ways, the good and the evil. Let's go for now real quick. For yeah. whoever knows, for whenever it beginneth to do good, he forces the issue of the action into evil. Hold on, let's go back to eight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh talking about the soul. Therefore, if the soul take pleasure in the good inclination, all its actions are in righteousness. And if it sin, it straightway repenteth. For having its thoughts set upon righteousness and casting away wickedness, it straightway overthrow the evil and upper with the sin. But if it incline to the evil inclination, all its actions are in wickedness. That's what I be saying about a lot of these organizations, man. Like, 
like it's rooted in the evil inclination, man, to be to divide and conquer, to recruit instead of to repel. Right. Man. So that's why all these actions of wickedness. And people think, oh, they do this, they do that, they do this. No, man, the whole thing. You can't get good fruit from from a bad tree. <laughs> work, and, man. and in you essence, gotta, man. Oh my bad. And I was a little bit quick. In essence, they call it good, evil, evil, good, man. And curses those who do such, but go ahead. Not gonna get me that Christian mind or that, you know, love the world, love you, love all you and all that. No. If the if they ain't got no good inclination, man, you know, the good inclination leads to all righteousness. But the evil inclination, that wickedness, man, everything that comes from that thing is gonna be wicked. Right. Look good on the outside to the unlearned. That's the only one it look good to. It only look good to the unlearned, man. The learned be like, man, I ain't that. I ain't hitting on nothing at all. Right. And it driveth away the good. Mm. That's by force. I mean, that thing is so bad, good it can't even be around it. Wow. And it driveth away the good and cleaveth to the evil. And it's real Bible like, even though it work, what is good? See, 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 mm -hmm. even what is good, he perverted it to evil, man. Wow, ain't no getting around that thing, man. You got look, that's why Hamashak said you got to cut that thing down and throw it in the fire. Mm -hmm. good. Right, I'm gonna fix like these women out here thinking they can fix these brothers. Right, I mean, brother. Most high, y'all gotta fix these brothers. And the only Absolutely. way to fix, they gotta be born again. They gotta kill themselves. They Absolutely. Pass down and, and throw it in the fire. It ain't no getting around that stuff, man. Right. That I like when he said when he also said if your eye be evil, cast it away, cast it away, pluck it out and cast it away. That eye is the eye of the mind. Take take that mindset. Right. You gotta be you gotta be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that's yeah. how you be reborn by being transformed. So you got to be retaught. We got to think. Be, now, people think, oh, it's just a little living. It's still going to come out all right. No, the scripture said, man, a little living going to live in that whole thing. You got to be right. unafraid. Right. You know, and, and a lot of these groups and organizations, man, they got living. And people say, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's just a little bad. No, ain't no such thing. There's no little bad, man. We got to, we got to get rid of that. We got to seek towards righteousness. We got to be Kodash and send that. That don't mean no little bit of nothing evil, nothing wicked. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to seek perfection, man. That's right. We ain't been perfect, but through the uh, Hamashiach, we can be. We can be. We got to seek to be. Mm -hmm. We get that mindset of not accepting folly. We ain't going to never be that, man. Right. You be accepting a folly, man. You can't get in like that. Understand the rule of forgiveness, right? But that forgiveness is for the repenting. That's right. another thing people got to understand. You can't be forgiving people that ain't got no repentance. Right. The fact that you pray and ask for the forgiveness of your sins is the fact that you repented. Mm -hmm. And there's something wrong. That's why in your prayers, you're supposed to confess your sin. Mm -hmm. So, my sins, the sins of our forefathers. That's 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 realizing the wrong has been done. Right. It's people that ain't got no no understanding of no wrong being done. Mm -hmm. right? They're not being healed. That's why it ain't no progression being made because they don't feel like it need to be done. Right. In between the good and the evil, playing with it, eating at the tables of idols and at the table of the all. It's an abomination. And there is a man that loveth him that worketh evil. See, you don't want to be this man. You don't want to be this man. Trust me. Because he would prefer even to die in evil for his sake. You know how many people are die for these camps? Not for the nation. Not for righteousness. Not for standing on the most high's word. But for that group, for that clique, for their partners. Concerning this, it is clear that it had 
two aspects, but the whole is evil. See, the good aspect is that, you know, you might die for your brother, right? That's a that's a noble thing. But the weakness of it is that your brother ain't in no righteous acts. He said there is a man that loveth him that worketh evil. Your brother worketh evil. And you ready to die for him that worketh evil? That's why I said the whole of it is an evil work, man. Mm. And you think you're doing a good thing, but it's really wicked. Oh, indeed, he half loves. See, it, I didn't know it was gonna say this. I'm just, I'm just reading line for line. Yeah, that's how it is when you're in the root, man. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh, indeed, he half love, yet he is wicked. Who can feel it? That what is evil for the sake of the good name. But the end of the action tended unto evil. See, the sake of the good name. They want to be well thought of. They, them brothers doing the work, man. Them brothers doing the work. Yeah, them brothers also beating their wives. And now they're fornicating, ejaculating, masturbating, and all the kinds of wickedness. You know, you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, it, I do. I'm I still live what is evil for the sake of the good name. Okay, you out here doing the work, you out here doing all this, but it's it's weightier matters you need to fix. It said the end of the action tended unto evil. Another still it, doeth unjustly, plundereth, defraudeth, and with all pity of the poor. See, look, this is this mm -hmm. exactly what I'm talking about. They stealing, they doing unjustly, they plundering, they defrauding, but they feed the poor. Mm -hmm. This too has a twofold aspect. It's good to feed the poor. Mm -hmm. Defraud, it ain't good to plunder, it ain't good to do it unjustly or to steal. Right. All is evil. That's right. These are the people that say, I cast out, haven't I? Having I clothed the naked, having I fed the poor, mm -hmm. like man, you've been stealing and doing unjustly and plundering. Yeah, you, you, you was working iniquity to do that. You was yeah, working iniquity. Yeah, yeah, you was working iniquity. Oh man, I ain't no I, I, did, I did it to help the poor. Man, get out of her. <laughs> yeah, she to do that. Why you didn't give up your own substance? Right. Right. Even if you didn't do it to help the poor, it's like this, like like underlying issues, right? Right. If you do all this stuff and in your guilt you say you want to help the poor, but you ain't repented and refrained from doing these things. Mm -hmm. Still doing them while you help the poor, it's still wicked. Mm -hmm. now, now, if you did all these things in your past and then you went upon a life of pitying the poor, then they say, uh, 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 alms, many alms cover it a multitude of sins. Right. See, leave off from your old work, from your old flesh, your old man. Right, because in the verses before, before we got to this point, it was speaking about how, you know, even though they sin, they repenteth. So, right. you know, yeah. So that's righteous. First of all, it's a righteous thing to, if you sin, to repent and turn. That's righteous. See, the unrighteous don't do that. The unrighteous just stay on and they unright. They stay in their filth. They don't get up. They fall. They the type of ones that fall and don't get back up. See, but the just man may fall seven times, a complete time, but he get back up. That's what make him righteous because he keep going for that goal. He keep more. He keep pushing and endure, enduring for it. Like me, I've done it. I'm, a, I'm just gonna confess it, man. We in a day of atonement, man. We must confess our faults one to another that we may be healed. I was in a covenant. I'm in a covenant relationship, and I stepped out and had sex with a woman that wasn't even my. I had a covenant with. Mm. So let let's speak about that. I'm not holding nothing, man. This is real, man. We must confess these things. We can't be concealing these matters right here for the sake of a good name. Facts. So we got to speak about these things. We got to expose these things because we got to do better. I talked about all the y'all. Wow, man, that's that's, that's you know, it's all good, man. Look, this is it's for real, man. This is not time for playing and time for doing. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. You know, and you know we must confess these things, man. See, one per a person that's concealing a thing is not done with that thing. You see what I'm saying? Well, I, I say that from my point of view. I can speak on that. I know people that. They know things and don't want to say nothing about it because they like they'd rather take it to the grave, and that's what they're gonna do. Take it to the grave. 
instead of confessing a thing. I, I, my cousin, man, back in the day when I was in a relationship with this person, he, he, she told me everything he told her. He was trying to get with her while I was in jail. And she knew stuff that I know that he knew and I knew, and we was the only ones that knew. And he trying to, man, when I confronted him about this, man, that be lying. Nigga, you gonna believe that beat? Yeah, nigga, that beat knows some stuff that you that only me and you knew. And you gonna tell me he, he, he gonna you know he, he taking that to the grave? I didn't heard he had a conversation. We didn't have conversations before in certain in certain areas where he said he was taking stuff to the grave. So I know you are gonna take this to the grave. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna tell you instead of fessing up, but it, it, that's expected for people that's of the world, though. You know, we they got the seed of y'all in us, man. We 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 are expected to do better, to do different, to show forth different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you but that's the fruits of the righteous, man. To move in a different way. You can't be that's why I say to no real no real awakened Israelite, Yasharal, Yahudim, uh, you know, even the strangers and the sojourners. Should none of us come to no same conclusions? There's no heathens, man. There's no Christians, there's no Muslims, there's no there's no Hindus or none of that, man. Because our ways ain't their ways. They shouldn't be. That's right. Shouldn't be. Now, of the commonalities, they eat, we eat, they breathe, we breathe, but we don't eat what they eat. They got allowances for wickedness. We shouldn't have no allowances for no wickedness. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And and <sighs> It's, it's it's go dash man set apart set apart are you set apart uh he who defrauded his neighbor provoked y'all and swear it falsely falsely against the most high and yet pity is the poor y'all who commanded the law he set it at naught and provoked and yet he refreshes the poor. So here's a man that breaks the commandments, right? Mm -hmm. He his neighbor, swearing falsely against the most high Yah, but he pities the poor. He got soup kitchens in every city. Mm, I've done that too. I want to confess these times too. I I swear falsely against the Most High in a situation yeah. where I was one and didn't want to lie. And like I, my right hand, yeah, I didn't at the time, man. And knowing I was lying, I did that. I was one of them people that did that. I sure did. But y'all forgive me for it. I confess. You said you didn't. I have. I have. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that, I'm just confessing these things in the time of confession, man. We need help. We want help. We want deliverance. That's why we're doing that. And it's only right to do such. Confess your faults. Confess your forefathers' faults and confess your own faults. And turn back to the Father wholeheartedly and he gonna do his part. Confess your faults one to another that ye may be healed. Mm. Cast aside every weight that so easily besets you. Mm -hmm. It's a weight, man. He defileth the soul and maketh yea the body. He killeth many and pitieth the few. This too hath a twofold aspect, but the whole is evil. So, making yea the body, that means he take care of himself. This boy, hey, this boy got abs. He run a couple miles every day. <laughs> you right. know? Right. Yeah. Shape. We take care of the temple the most high y'all gave to him. Yeah, but body it, exercise, profit a little. Right. He defiling the soul and he killeth many and pity at the food. Right. It don't do you no good to be taking care of your, uh, your temple? Does that mean don't take care of your temple? No, that's not what they're saying. What they're saying is that in the physical, this is the physical right here. Right. The spiritual, you need to you need to uh you need to nourish your soul. Righteousness, he right. It's written somewhere where it says, uh, exercise for the body profited little, but y'all yeah. like y'all is profited much, you know what I mean? So, you know, uh, uh, sowing into the Ruach matters profit much into your, into your soul, you know what I mean? Where you feeding your soul with the teachings and the instructions and, and living according to what was what thus said, y'all profited much, you know, yeah. Yeah, hallelujah. 
another committed adultery and fornication and abstained it from meats. And when he fasted, he doeth evil. And by the power of his wealth overwhelmeth, overwhelmeth many. And notwithstanding his excessive wickedness, he doeth the commandments. Mm. Two hath the twofold aspect, but the whole is evil. Mm, that's double mindedness. Doing doing some good. He committing adultery, fornication, sexual morality, abstaining from meats, and when he fasts, he does evil. Wow. And the power of his wealth, he, by, and, and by the power of his wealth, he overwhelmed many. So he being a tyrant, but only a few, he 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 says, and notwithstanding, he exercised wickedness. Man, and he does a command. That's cold. That's what Hamashiach was talking about, about leave your gift at the altar. Well, you know how many times I didn't pray because I was mad with my wife or something, man. I was just like, man, oh, but I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna bring it before you. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. we still have an issue until we yeah. thing out. You don't even want to hear. I know y'all want to hear. How much y'all told me? He said, leave it at the altar. Ain't no point in you bringing it. Right. Sit that oh. thing <laughs> go handle your business, man, before the sun goes down. Hey, that brings me to the point I was gonna say that earlier, but now is the time. I said I was gonna wait to that's like people have that in their mind too. They thinking that they can do some wrong to a person, and instead of going to make right with that person, they'll they'll go pray to the father and, and act and, and, and be and feel justified like they're forgiven, as if he heard them and mm -hmm. didn't make right with the person that they did wrong with. That ain't how the most high work, man. That's not how it worked. You got to be that's why we that's why that was used right there. First, if you remember that your brother have an alt against you, leave your gift there at the altar, go be reconciled to your brother, then come and offer your gift. Right. So it's a way, it's an order of doing these are instructions, man. People is not following the instructions. They thinking that they can bypass the order of doing such and such and go straight to the father. And yeah, I know he I got a relationship. No, you don't. No. No, you don't. You think you do. You don't. It's a way that seems right in a man's own heart, but it, it, it only leads to death. That's you thinking that. That's your own delusion that you following because you ain't got no love for the truth. You following your own dictation of your own evil inclination of your heart. Thinking that you can go bypass doing a wrong to somebody and not going making right with that person before you go take it, whatever you need to go talk to about Abba, asking from Abba. But you're going straight to Abba in the name of the Mashiach, thinking that you're doing right. And, and still, this thing is un, 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 unfixed over here. Nah, Father ain't listening to you. He gonna send somebody to you to preach on that thing. <laughs> oh, in right. the expectation that you get pricked to turn and then go make right and then come back to the Father. You gotta come correct. Look, Father's saying, if you coming, come wholeheartedly, meaning come correct. You gotta yeah. know, be taught how to come Go ahead, I. I, I, I but on. You don't play no games, man. He said, you don't come, come correct. Come all the way in. Now, right. he's a gracious and merciful Albert, so he's always willing to have you back. But he's saying, listen, man, don't come back half ass. Don't come back half step and come all the way with that thing, man. Don't nobody want to know, uh, you know, you sorry, but you ain't sorry. Like, you ain't now. Stay on the out of uh, 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 stand without the gates where the dogs and the whoremongers at till you get yourself together. You know, right. and I already know he don't hear the prayers of sinners. That's right. Or the wicked, at least. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Repentant. He hear they pray, but he don't know if you really repenting or not because you will bring your whole heart to the thing because he can read your heart. He can read your mind. He know if you right. if you're faking. That's right. Right. People think they can run. I don't know why. I, I, do people really think they can run game or get over? And they may not even know, get over on, on the most high. I would want to share this also that parable about the prodigal son, man. When he had it, he wanted his inheritance, took his inheritance and did what he thing. He squandered his money with the hoes, with the whores, the, the, you know what I mean? And all these old things and everything. And then he got to a point where he was broke and started about to eat with the pigs, man. And then he thought it's, he could, he bethought himself in the situation where he was at his low state. He bethought himself. Who is that? Listen to that. That's us in this thing. When you bethink yourself in the land of your captivity, he bethought himself in that land when he was over there about to eat with them pigs, eat them mm. corn. And then he's like, man, it was better. I, I, I can be a, you know, a certain a servant at, 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 in, in, in the house of my father. Let me turn back. See, the father seen him coming from a mile away and look and, and had things prepared for him. Go get the fatty calf. Slide it. We should have a feast. 
My son was once dead and now he alive. Put a ring on his finger, put him with a robe and everything. Had him, had him, had him breezy. Because <laughs> he turned, he turned whole, he, he remembered, he thought he bethought himself and he turned wholeheartedly and went back to his father. And then he had a thought of humbleness. He humbled himself. Look, I can just, just be a servant in my father's house. I look and turned and came back in that humble spirit like that and came wholehearted. And the father seen him coming and ran out there and got him, boom, hugged him, boom. Do this, do this, serving the day, rejoicing. Yeah, he was dead, but now he's alive. We he can't wait to clean you up and I'm telling you, place you in fine garments. That's right, bro. Huh? Because you listen, man, it ain't no dip. Everything we got on earth came from the Shemaim. The whole thing about kings and how kings have princes, and you know, they got armies, and you know, you got. Killers on the payroll, mighty men, and all this. All this stuff exists in the Shemaim. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That's right. Just like when kings send out messengers and all that, they don't send them in rags. They send them sharp with 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 treasures and and and, and gifts and you know what I'm saying? Like like because you representing the king, right? That's just a represent. How much would his princes have to go out? Mm. and be glorious. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we got to get in, in that right mindset in that mindset of the office of a prince. To act like we descendants of kings. To act like we you know what I'm saying? Like like people don't have that mind, man. They out here living like peasants, man. They got the right. mind of peasants. And it's mm. not being of a child of the most high y'all. That's right. You know, That's even if you are in rags you still have to have a princely mindset. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because the poor inherit the kingdom too, but it's like he got the mindset of righteousness. Even in their poorness, they can be humble, they can be meek, they can be kind, loving. You get what I'm saying? Like, like this is the traits of the arbor, but at the same time, you cross them, they can put some on you too. That's the traits of the arbor as well. So, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ain't no pump. So, yeah, this whole thing about characteristics, man. That's why a feminine, if you're a feminine, you can't get in. Cause that's, that's not what a father said. That's right. <laughs> a ain't a feminine. You get what I'm saying? Like, the, but you supposed to be a representative, like you said, a representative of him. Father ain't no effeminate. You, 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 I ain't no punk. I ain't no homosexual. Okay. All right. Not even that. You're not going to just get over on me. You're not going to do me no any kind of way. You're not going to go against what I didn't ordain. That's right. enough for a man. That's why, you know, he gives us dominion. Right. That's why it's a curse to be the tail. Right. People have gotten come. John Boy said, he said, uh, we get comfortable on the floor. You said, how dare you, nigga? We're talking about the white folks. Like, you like, like, we get comfortable in whatever a state you put us in. But we're not supposed to be com comfortable in wickedness or in servitude as far as wickedness go. Right. You get what I'm saying? We're supposed to. Once you come into the mindset of who you are, as rich as Abraham was, when he came to Abimelech, he bowed. As rich as he was, the man was ready to buy a small country in cash. But, but when he went to see that man in his land to do that deal, he bowed. Because it's the humbleness in that. Right. So, it's your house. This is this is you. I'm coming to get something from you. So I'm gonna show you due respect. Right in your house. Right. However, let me bring this out. I want to. It's, a, it's a, when it comes to Father Abraham, when some guy took that was his that belonged to him, he wouldn't go get that thing. Thing. So because he bowed, he was weak. Right. The respect and reverence. But come try to take something from him. He's gonna show you a totally different side. He's gonna be like, where that humble brother at? This man hey, slaying the time for harmless <laughs> on this he, part. He ain't no person against the law. What, what happened? Right. Like, oh, man. You represent. 
This is good, Og, man. People need to know the difference, the distinction. That's just the same as uh, making a distinction between the kadash and the profane. You have to make distinctions in everything. So in all how, wicked is it? how wicked is it that a man not run his household? Right. How wicked is it that the woman run the household? Right. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Heuristics. This is the kind of stuff we got to address, man. And people won't worry about the wonders of the Shemayim. You ain't figured out earth. How much I told you? He said, if you don't understand the things of the earth, how can you understand the things of the Shemayim? It's a thing. Right. <laughs> That's a fact, man. That's a fact. You got it, Doc. Let me be quiet, man. I'm putting this on mute, man. This is a thing. I ain't got, I ain't got I'm going to go back to the reason. Like, <laughs> <man. laughs> together, man. You guys are awesome, man. He working. He working, man. He working. Uh, 18. Such men are hairs, clean, like those that divide the hook, but in every deed are unclean. Hold on. Mm. What, are these? what men are these? Oh, well, you're talking about all the men that, you know, those that, you know, take care of their body, but they rob, steal, and kill. Right. Don't commit adultery and fornication, yet abstain from meats and fast. Mm. You know? And so called keep the commandments, right? So called, I don't even know how that even applies. How can you keep the commandments and you be committing adultery for the case, right? I guess yeah. part of it, part of it, he might honor his mother, but he committed, he might, you know what I'm saying? Like, he keeps parts of it, right? He may not be a liar, a bare false witness, but he he do he break the other thing. If you're guilty of one, you're guilty of them all. Guilty of them all. Such men are hairs, clean like those that divide the hoof, but in every deed are unclean. Yeah, a hair look clean. Can we eat rabbits? No, no, rabbit is a rodent. Absolutely not. They look clean, but they unclean for real. Yeah. For y'all in the tables of the commandments had had thus declared. Yep, see, it's saying it's telling you in the tablets about the no. Uh, Twenty, but do not ye, my children, wear two faces like unto them of goodness and of wickedness, but cleave unto goodness only. So be it. Let it be so. Yes, sir. So be it. Hallelujah. For y'all had his habitation therein. See, this is where the Most High dwells in goodness. Right. That's why you can't be defiling your temple with all manner of wickedness, man, because the Most High can't dwell in that. And then instead of, it's going to be something in your temple. It's either going to be the most high y'all or it's going to be an abomination that causes death, desolation. Mm -hmm. Because wickedness abounds. Mm. And men desire it. But from wickedness flee away. Yes, sir. Evil inclination by your good works. Destroy, listen. Destroy the evil inclination by your good works. Overcome evil by doing good. How about that thing? Not over, not a, listen. I'm guilty of that thing. Uh, tit for tat. Mm. You did this to me, I do this to you. Oof. No, in, in 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 a covenant relationship, man, it's not to be so, man. You overcome evil by doing doing good, man. Yes, you know, I man. get frustrated. I was getting frustrated on conversations and speeches or uh, uh, questions and stuff like that because the person ain't getting out. Instead of doing it, take your time, overcome evil by doing good, utilize patience, utilize kindness. Utilize the fruits of the Ruah. That's what I'm hearing. And that's what I'm doing. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Huh? I didn't even know I was I was even saying this the other day. Mm -hmm. When I when we talked about that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, about the yeah, yeah. When you were sharing, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you were saying. Hallelujah, man. Expound the Ruah gave you the ability to expound on that thing. Uh, we see the face value right here. I mean, you know, what's, what's read here, but it's, you know, it's an explanation you can expound on like you did at the rule I gave to you to do to me. Yeah. Uh, it's best. It pretty much sums it up, man. That's how you destroy the evil inclination. That's how you make Belial run because he can't dwell in, in joy. He can't dwell in Shalom. That's why he tried to bring Oh, that's why he try to bring wickedness and malice mm -hmm. and envy. Because then 
you know, he could dwell there. Right. That's why people being being sometimes when people being being used, not sometimes, all the times when people being used, they try to bring you on that level, that same level where they are. And if you're not applying to that level, you'll see the anger or the frustration, the, the, the madness that the enemy is doing within them. They don't even know it. It's the enemy getting upset, mad, angry. What you mad for? Because I'm not uh indulging. You mad. You mad. <laughs> oh, you wanted to take me and you wanted to take me in captive. That's what you wanted. Hey. Not talking about that person, but the spirit behind that person. You know? <laughs> yeah. I told my brother. I told my sister one time too. Uh she was having the same kind of issue with uh her people. And uh <laughs> I told her <laughs> when they go to doing that, just rebuke her. <laughs> just rebuke her, like, you know, depart from me, Satan. I told her to do one of them joints like she was uh <laughs> like a priest trying to cast out one of them. <laughs> yeah, oh man. <laughs> hey, man. What happened? You know, that'll throw somebody off quick. They trying to argue with you, you know, oh, you like, depart from me, Satan. Right. <laughs> no, nah, but um, um, the, the advice I gave you, though, about praising the most high, y'all, that's even, that's even, you know, mm -hmm. wait, you know, uh, for they that are double-faced serve not y'all, but their own lust. So that they may please Belial and men like unto themselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and real quick, I want to expand on this too, man. As we go forward, lust doesn't just all just means uh, sexual. Lust is a desire. Whatever desire that's against what the Most High has commanded us to do is a bad thing. That's what lust is. Lust is desire. You know, whether you desire to, oh, this person said this to me, I to sabotage what they got going. Oh. Oh, this person, you know what I mean? It's not just a sexual thing. People think lust and they think the first thing they think is sex or sexual. Lust is not just sexual lust. Lust is a desire that one may have. It's an un un uh, unright, unright, not righteous desire. It's an unrighteous desire. That's what lust is. The word lust is how they use it. You know, we got, I'm just, I'm just bringing this right. I'm just bringing it out, man, for edification purposes so people, so we can have a, a wider view of seeing what this word is to know the function thereof. That's all I'm doing, y'all. That's a fact. I'm glad you did that. Yeah. Sexual lust. Lust is a desire that one may have. Uh, uh, 22. For good men, even even they that are of single face, though they be thought by them that are double faced to sin. That's right. Before Yah. That's right. Hallelujah. That's good. That's an awesome word right there, too. All of it is. However, that's a good thing, too, because some people think like that. I'm telling you, you'll be surprised, man. You ain't good for, you know. Oh, he just. He just loud. He just, he just, yeah. He trying to save his brother from the fire, though. Mm -hmm. Doing it to be seen amongst me. Be passionate. Said a pressure make a wise man mad. That's right. I must be wise, cause I be getting sickened by what I look at. I see my people involved in. That's a good word. I like that word. I love that. I mean, I love it all. I just like that too. For good men, even though they are single face, though they be thought by them that are double faced to sin, are just before Yah. That's awesome. Hallelujah. For many in killing the wicked, do two works. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to get on this thing. <laughs> but hold on, wait, wait before you before you speak. <laughs> do two works, so good and evil. But the whole good. That's good. The whole is good. That's good. He had uprooted and destroyed that which is wicked. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, I'm, that's good. I'm trying to bring back flogging. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you say trying to bring back flogging. We're going to do the Nehemiah thing, put these Kadash hands on people. Yeah, that's why, uh, you know, I really want to, to uh, be all inclusive now as far as trying to bring people together, right? I don't want to separate. I don't want to separate uh, on doctrines. I'm saying, look, everybody come to the table and love 
and then let's figure out a doctor. Let's pray for the Bible to give us the true doctor. Right. Let's reason together. Let's let's do that. Let's let's straighten this thing. Let's let's straighten it out. I want to do. We can figure out who the righteous is. Let's straighten it out. Yeah. The righteous, the wicked gotta have to cease and desist with the teaching of the children. If you're gonna be wicked, go off and be wicked on your own. But don't be claiming Yashara. Don't be teaching these people. You know, defiling the people. Right, because when we pull up and you still doing, we're gonna put these kadash hands on you as one yeah. late. We say be swiftly to lay hands. He say, be be don't do not be swift to lay hands swiftly on no man. Like, I'm, right. I'm gonna put these hands on you. I'm gonna get look, you do that. We're gonna pull up on I'm gonna put these kadash hands on you real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, man. Yeah. Chill out with all that, man. <laughs> That's why we're pleading with you now and love to refrain and trying to bring the lessons out, you know what I'm saying? The character building and all that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah. If you won't hear and you won't listen, then you know it gotta escalate, man. That's what our mm -hmm. people are missing the escalation. They're ready to go to war with the heathen, but they're not ready to go to war with the agents that's among us, with the coons, with the overseers, mm -hmm. you know, with the moles and all this. These old, these old half-hearted, half-ass Negro. Like we need to, we need to purge, purge the evil out from amongst us, man. Purging. The law was all about purging. Even Paul told us to mark those that are wicked and stay away from them. You know what I'm saying? To cast them out from the congregations, to put these people on the outside. Mm -hmm. But we cleaving unto these people. We cleaving unto wickedness, man. And that's wicked. You know, that's why it say, you know, uh, though they be thought by them that are double faced to sin because the people that's of this mind about getting these wicked ones out, people say, Man, you a sinner. Who are you to judge? Who are you to judge? No, no, man. I'm one of the ones trying to kill the wicked. That's it's right. A, it's two works. It's good and evil, but the whole is good. The whole is good. Yeah. The evil part is the taking of the life, but but it's like this, man. They wicked. Some people not want to be redeemed, they're not gonna be redeemed. So, you know, so they just made for destruction then. Made for destruction. Yeah. Get out of my way because you're hindering the children. Right. We you're hindering babes in this wall. Right. You need to be uprooted, cast into the fire. Now, that's you putting yourself in that. That's not me judging you to be that. That's your actions. Right. That's your, that's your, you know what I'm saying? That's you putting yourself in that category. Right. There's ways to determine what a man is. Mm -hmm. And if you fit the category, if it walk like a duck, talk like a duck, quack like a duck. It's definitely not no moose. <laughs> <laughs> it's a duck. <laughs> so this is what it is, and you get what you get. Because the wages of the sin is death. That's right. Time is carried out by the heathen. Sometimes it's carried out by the Kodash, man. And it just is what it is. That's something we gotta get our mind around. That's another Christian mindset that we done brought in. That you're putting it all on the Abba to judge. He used he used men to judge. What do you mean? Still do. He still do. Even with the heathen, people getting gunned down the street, people, ah, oh, they got that man, this man ain't doing no kind of commandments. He out there stealing and doing all kind of stuff. And then when he gets chopped down by the heathen, people don't like it because they see the heathen do it. Right. And the most high allowed that thing to happen like that. It ain't just that right. No, don't nothing mean, happen on this earth unless he give his consent to it. Go ahead, Ah. If you in his hand, who can pluck you from it? Right. No one. That's a fact, man. You ain't in there, man. You're on the outskirts, man. You gotta, gotta consider all these things, man, so you don't get trippy, get on the wrong side of thought and thinking. You, you most likely seen your strong rebuke. She's crying over the wicked fuck. Talk about it, man. Crying over the wicked. One man hated the merciful and unjust man, and the man who committed adultery and fasted. This too had the twofold aspect, but the whole work is good. There you go. This is me right here. I'm, I'm me too. What you talking about? That's why I said there you go. <laughs> he seems merciful, but he unjust. Uh huh. This, this is the guy that feeds the poor, but you know he's allowing another type of wickedness somewhere else. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I don't be trusting niggas, man. Like, like I'm like I'm one of them. I'd be like, man, you know, you have to show me something, man. I'm down with Thomas. I won't feel your hands and shit. I right, 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 right. <laughs> That's the disciple Talmudine Thomas right there. Let me see something. And the man who committed adultery and fasted. That's like, that, like you, you got to analyze. It said prove all things. Prove all things and just talk about scriptures. Right. All oh things, all that's everything. Me, all things, the whole scenario. You can't be good in one area and horrible in another. Mm-hmm. You bring out scripts, but yet you ain't a just judge, you ain't the head of your household, you ain't a protector. What's good is to bring out the scripts, sir? right? So, you know, you, you, you're an unrepentant liar and a cheater. But yet, you know what I'm saying? You feed the poor or whatever. That's what I'm saying. Like, like you gotta, you gotta be all inclusive, man. You gotta, you gotta have a whole thing. And if you don't, you gotta be repentant. Right. I'm not saying that things don't happen. Things happen that that cause a man to fall. But if he is repentant, then you can work with that. These are unrepentant. I'm assuming here. A merciful man. He's unjust. He, he's unrepentant about being unjust. You know, he committed adultery, but he fast. He's unrepentant about committing adultery. No, no, listen, listen. I, it goes on to say it's two bases, but the whole work is good, right? Right. I'm saying as far as okay, that's saying about the man who hate, right? Uh, he hate unjust man uh. that's merciful, but he's unjust. Mm. He could but he fast. I'm saying this is me. I'm this guy. I hate this. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's, this is why he hates him. He hates him because he's the unrepentant, unjust. He's the unrepentant, um, uh, uh, right? I thought it was saying. I thought I was saying it in far when he, he committed adultery and fasted because he repented. This too has a twofold aspect, but the whole work is good because he followed the Yah's example. Right, that mm-hmm. except if not the seeming good, it's the genuine good. You know, oh, proving it. it, okay, proving it, trust it, proving it. Right, okay, there we yeah, go. It. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like he would have mercy on the repentant, just like the Abadu. That's what I said mm-hmm. about the traits and the characteristics. If the Most High have repentance towards the repentant, right? Right. All the kings, we had to make peace with nations who sought to make peace with us. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't bring war to the to the uh, uh, repenting. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's the same thing with this. That's not included in. It's not included in it. But I want people to know that if if you are an unjust man or you have committed adultery. What was set you apart would be the repentance, right? And that you're sorry of these things and you turn it from them. You sorry, right. Right. From them. but and don't do those things ever again. Um, right. Yeah. right, not no Christianized type thing in the brew. You ask for forgiveness and repenting, you go back and do that thing again, again. I, I it made me think about our ancestor, uh, Malak Daoud, man. It made me think about him when he committed adultery with that man's wife, man, and then got that man killed, basically murdered that man, man. And then the Most High sent the prophet Nathan to him to tell him a story and infuriated Daoud. And he's like, that man should die. And Nathan was like, man, Daoud, that man, you. He said, oh, man, he took he, he took full responsibility of that thing. He was like, man, let it be so then. You know, I, I take that. And Most High was like, nah, you ain't going to die. You ain't going to die, but you know what? You're going to have a lot of problems. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> shall never depart from your house. Yeah, that happened because of the counting when he got right. Say it again when he had counted all the people. No, 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 that that didn't happen right there. That happened when he uh when he did that act of uh sleeping with that sleeping with Bathsheba and killing that man, killing the Hittite. He used the sword to kill that man. So, you want to use the sword, yeah, you use the sword to put him in the front, in the front, in the front line to kill him. You know, the sword should not depart from your house. See, that's how you see y'all is known amongst y'all is known by the judgments he bring, man. It's like, okay, 
check this out real quick. It's like, okay, we had our ancestors on his land, on the land that he gave to him, and they wanted to worship strange deities. He said, okay, y'all want to worship strange deities on my land? I'll tell you what, I'm going to uproot you out this land and put you in a strange land to worship these strange deities. And try this. Once you get there, call upon them to see if they're going to deliver you. <laughs> Hey man, we can call this. You can call I'm telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. The coldest man, like ah, oh, Father, you the one I worship. You the one. <laughs> I bend my knee. <laughs> Listen, these guys got no profit. They, they they ain't got nothing going on here. You no. Know? Yeah. And desire is not. That's why those with abundance that come from wickedness may be involved in all manner of witness of wickedness. You don't know that these people not serving the most high yeah. Like there ain't gonna be no confusion about it. You know what I'm saying? Like if they talk that good game, then you come to find out they're homosexuals. They out here, you know, drinking blood and you know Eating feces and drinking urine and doing all, you know what I'm saying? These heathens out here doing some real wicked stuff behind the wall, but that's how they worship their God. That's what they like, command of them is wickedness. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the goodness of the most high yard is going is gonna spread righteousness. You're gonna see people being loose from this. That's why Hamashach said, these are the signs of those who follow me. They're going to be casting out demons. They're going to be healing the sick. You know, now I feel like it's not so much um, um, the healing of, of the physical, but it's a mental healing now that's needed in our people and a spiritual healing. Right. Right, because once that's yeah. done, once the spiritual healing is done and fixed, then the, the, the body, the physical, it's going to manifest in the physical. Hey, control the mind and the body shall follow. Right. That's more than just for pimps. That's a real thing. In all walks of life. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Hallelujah, man. It's, Hallelujah. it's uh Let's hit that 24 again because it's so powerful. One man hated the merciful and the unjust. See, the Christian said, Don't hate, don't judge. That's what they tell me. Don't hate, don't judge. Be more humble. Right? So mm -hmm. one man hated the merciful and the unjust. That's why I hate him. I don't hate him just, just for hating him. I hate him because he's unjust. And mm -hmm. the man adultery and fast this too had the twofold aspect but the whole work is good because he followed y'all's example I'm trying to follow y'all's example man the heart of the matter right proving it let's prove that thing in that he accepted not the seeming good as the genuine good if you genuine good it's gonna check out i got right back. right right no matter how many trials no matter how many testings it's gonna happen it's gonna always be consistent well that's he, he for real on that okay but, but, but he ain't for real he ain't for real on that. He ain't for real on that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, on that. Yeah. 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 Check your files, man. Got to check your files. Another good. Good. Man, that's good. I, that's good. I love that. That's that's a, that's an awesome one too, bro. That's good, man. Another desire is not to see good day with them that not. Mm -mm -mm. See this. Whew. Let's. He defile his body and pollute his soul. This too is double face, but the whole is good. Listen, man. Mm. About congregating with the wicked. Mm -hmm. So he desires not to see good day with them that not. Like mm -hmm. uh 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 dwelling richly with the wicked. Right. He'd rather just Live on the streets, be poor. He he'd rather go without and and feel righteous about it than to have plenty and be surrounded with the wicked, man. Because he don't want to defile his body and pollute his soul. Because if they wicked, they're not eating clean foods, I'm sure. Right. You know, it's some other wickedness that's going to try to latch on to him. He's like, I don't even want to be tempted by that thing. Right. That ain't wicked. 
That's where the proverb come in and says, uh, you know, uh, don't be the fool, don't be deceived. Good company corrupts. I mean, bad company corrupts good habits, man. So, you know, you being around the wicked, man, that's going to jump off on you, man. You're going to find yourself doing certain things like that because you hanging with them. If you want to if you want to become wise, hang with wise people and you will take you will get wise traits about yourself, man. That's why I want to I always wanted to be around righteous, the righteous and the wise. I want to be amongst them and walk with them and talk with them and be with them and, and be involved with them like that, man. That's why I thank y'all for this. And I want more. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be honest with you. I want more. I want to be like, you know. We have a lifestyle of everyday living going out together. All right. Doing things, right. man. Yeah. In a community of the right. 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 Now, this tool is far in between. Now you see how it's only 10 of a city and like one or two of a family because wickedness abounds, man. Right, right, right. That's good. Wisdom is hard. It's hard pressed on every side, on every corner, man. You know. And it's it's some hard truths out here, man. These scriptures, the reality of the scriptures is that a lot of people we love and care for really really wicked and going to hell, man. That's why, you know, to have a realization, to have a mind towards pressing forward towards righteousness and willing, willing, you have to be willing to cast aside everything that's not of the album, man. You got to be willing. If you're not willing, you are oh, now nah, this. See, see now. I don't know about that. No, if it's wicked, it, it, it's it's gone. You say, Abba, show me it's wicked. Show me I need to let it go. And when you can find that thing to me, I'm going to let it go. Can't be that mind. You're just going to hang on to something. That's what happened to the rich young ruler. He kept all the commandments. Well, well, he kept all the ones concerning his brothers. But he had an idol. He had an idol in his heart. That was that money. That was his possessions. His estate that came with it. And he did not want to give it up. He didn't want to come from being a rich man to being like the common folk. Right. I don't know about that, man. I don't know. That's why he said it's easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than a rich man to get into the kingdom of the Shemaim because it it comes with idol worship. He didn't say it's impossible. Well, I don't think the camel gonna get through that needle. <laughs> well, this is this is this is another thing too that what our people don't realize too that the eye of a needle was an interest way that they had in a in a land that was very uh narrow. And camels, you know, camels being big and tall, how they are, you know, they can squeeze and get through and get through that thing, that that thing. And then sometimes people carry a lot of baggage on camels. That's the way that they travel. Oh, right. Get rid of the baggage. Yeah. Hey man, bring that thing out, man. That's what I'm talking about, right? There. Get rid of that baggage, man. That's what the that's what the uh, spot. Uh, get rid of that baggage. Yeah. <laughs> you, it can happen. Sorry. You got to get rid of that baggage. Sorry. You got to get rid of that baggage, man. What? Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on, man. Kids around, you know, having a feast day and everything. The children around playing and whatnot. Excuse us, viewers. What you saying, Noah? You were saying something? No, no, we, we finished saying it. I wrapped it up before that happened, so we good. All right. Uh, 26, for such men are like stags and to hinds, because in manner of wild animals, they seem to be unclean. This is the ones that, that hate the wicked and hate to be in the presence of the wicked. It said, it said, they seem to be unclean, but they are altogether clean because they walk in zeal for Yah, for the master I don't need. Right. And from what Yah also hated. And forbid it by his commandments. Putting mm -hmm. off the evil from the good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Righteous arm of the most high y'all, man. You know. Looking down in the folly. Mm -hmm. You know, they can call me a, a, a wild animal. It's all right. It's all right. I got a yoke. I got a bun. But it's, it's horrible. He's out here uh, snuffing at the wind. 
we, 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 you know, Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, like it. <laughs> yeah, that's Jeremiah. Yeah, talking about the the, the she ass is sniffing at the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sniffing at the wind out there, wild and free. Uh, ain't got, ain't got no leader. Ain't trying to be tamed by nobody. Out there doing as it will. In her time and heat, they going the, the the other one's gonna know it. <laughs> right. Yeah. What are y'all doing? Why don't y'all go upstairs or something? <laughs> you know. Thank you. Uh uh, abstain from what also y'all have said. Ye see, my children, how that there are two in all things, one against the other, and the one is hidden by the other. And wealth is hidden covetousness. Mm. This thing with young ruler, mm. yeah, it, it's uh, it's pinging and conviviality. And I, we don't want to look that thing up right there. We got to do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and be valid. All right, conviviality. I pronounced that thing right, though. Conviviality. Yeah. Conviviality. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The quality of being friendly and lively. Friendliness. Oh, friendly and lively come drunkenness, huh? Mm mm mm. That's uh, let's read that. You see my children, how they are too. In all things, one against the other, the one is hidden by the other. In wealth, is hidden covetousness, in conviviality, drunkenness. Yeah, in that friendly, in that friendliness, old oh, friendly ass nigga. That's what we say. Uh, mm -hmm. Drunkenness in that. I guess. Uh, I don't know if that's talking about physical drunkenness, but like uh, uh, drunkenness is like an abundance, right? It's it's uh. And the friendliness is drunkenness. Well, I guess that's the easy going stuff. Like, you need some sternness in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that, it's that mode of just being easy going. Like, like it lacks circumspectness. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's so, so friendly, so easy going. Right. That it lacks discipline. Right. Discipline. Lacks the drunkenness. Right. Yes, sir. And lack of grief in wedlock. Profligacy. Uh oh. It's another one. <laughs> we got another one. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Yeah. Creation of profligacy. Reckless extravagance, wastefulness in the use of resources. Uh oh, Baby, wastefulness in the use of resources. We looked this thing up, man. Before, before we looked this thing up, before hey, I think we, yeah, I think, I think, we, I don't know, maybe it was on one of the other testaments or something we looked up. And had, we talking and about had, waste, yeah, 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 I think so. <laughs> in wedlock. So, okay, in marriage, what he's saying is that in marriage, people are given to wastefulness. Right? They get married and they get careless. Look at that thing up again. Reckless and extravagant. Wastefulness. Ugh. Gratefulness and extravagance. You know, all this old extra stuff. Extra pink. Extra they start slacking for the most high, y'all. They out here. Yeah, they're uh, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Look, I I gotta work on Shabbat. I gotta feed my family. 
And it ain't really mostly about feeding their family, man, to be honest with you, because they feeding their family. It's just that they want to, you know, have these things. and uh, keep the things. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's keep it real, man. The Albert don't care about that. You think the Albert care about that? You think he really cares about that? He ain't got no, no, uh, no, uh, um, leeway for going against his commandments. No right. real does. No real man is, is, is okay with you going about going against what he say. That's right. The clear thing he decreed. That's it. It ain't no, it ain't, ain't going to the right or to the left. That's what I, man, look, I be trying to, I be trying to talk to my real man about certain things. I be like, man, listen, man, I told you how, how I wanted you to do it because that's how I wanted you to do it. That's right. And she get mad because I always say something when she do that. Yeah, I'm going to always say because I'm going to always show my displeasure. Right. I Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's, that's, that's on the same thing, too. I mean, like, say that the shoe was on the other fit. It was something that you want me to do for you, and you want me to do it according to the way you want me to do it. Uh, and it's, 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 it's right, and I'm in agreement with it, but I do something different than what you're asking. You ain't going to like that. Like, the, let's take it farther than that. Let's go with Father. The Father tells us exactly what to do and how to do things. And he's not going to be pleased with something short of what he asked us to do. Thanks. And he ain't going to accept it. I don't accept none of that. You know, you think we see that with Cain and Abel. He Listen, by Amunah, that means that they heard the instructions on what they ought to do in order to give up the sacrifice that the Most High would be acceptable be accepting so Cain thought that you know what well, this is he, he getting the best of the crops on something that he was doing that he was an expert in and bringing the best that he thought was the best but that ain't what y'all asked for and the reason why I say that let me break this down real quick for so well, how you get that from where you get that from let me say okay when we read in the in the, in the bread out of shaw where it says by faith can uh, able offered up a better uh, uh, acceptable sacrifice a sacrifice so we know that faith which is animal not comes by hearing and hearing of the word of Yah so that mm. means they had to hear the instructions on what to do. Now you teaching now, boy. You 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 went too deep with this thing now. You you talking about you talking about real tangible things now. Right, right. So that's 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 and that's all the thing y'all watch. Y'all be this thing, man. That's that's y'all wise giving that knowledge and understanding. That's what it means. See, when you pay attention and you searching and seeking, he'll get that to you. But that's him doing it. And that's what that and that's and, and Cain didn't follow the instructions, he did what he mm. wanted to do. And when mm -hmm. he did what he wanted to do and seen the righteous man being acceptable because he did what was righteous because he did, he followed the instruction that was given to him. He hated that man. And these people are doing that same thing today. They hating the man of righteousness that's proclaiming the things that's right and doing the things that are right. They go hand in hand when you're really walking the righteous man for a righteous man. So he told he came to Cain real quick. He came to Cain and told him, "Hey man, why you why you down? Look, if you do right, won't you you'll be accepted." I paraphrase that thing, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's, that's and instead of, instead of instead of like you know what I'm gonna do right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I'm gonna follow instructions on how he said. Instead of doing that, he murdered his brother. Mm. You got people with the Lashana Ra with the evil tongue murdering their brother because their brother speaking on righteous things, coming against wickedness, coming against things that not supposed to be. Because they want the zeal of the Adoni and abstain from what Yah also hated and forbid it by his commandments, warding off the evil from the good. Right. But you want to hate a brother like that. You want to murder mouth this brother. Mm, mm, mm. You want to murder him out what he's doing. You want to murder him out what he's saying because you don't have no knowledge. You the one silly. You the one mm. foolish. Why don't mm. you just, you know, Father, okay, let me hear. Let me, okay, let me examine myself. Let me examine your word as a mirror to see if I'm lining up with that. Be honest with yourself. I guess people, it, it seems like people don't know how to be honest with themselves. Love the truth. Start there. Like, Father, okay, let me get into your word and study your word and get into this. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Y'all, y'all get it. Y'all, y'all, I know y'all get it. Y'all hear. Those that's listening and those that don't do, don't be so, of such mind, man. It's time to get it right and get it right right now. Hallelujah. It's so, it's so, my brother. I'm standing y'all wild, man. Hallelujah. 27. Ye see, my children, how that there are two in all things, one against the other, and one is hidden by the other. Oh, no. Yeah. 28. Mm -hmm. Seated to life, dishonor to glory, night to day, and darkness to light, and all things that are under the day. 
best things under life, unjust things under death. Wherefore, also eternal life awaited death. Mm. Nor may it be said that truth is a lie, nor right wrong. Right. All truth is under the light, even all things under Yah. Mm. Therefore, I proved in my life, and I wandered not from the truth of the Adonai, and I searched out the commandments of the Most High, walking according to all my strength and with singleness of faith unto that which is good. See, this is what we need to, this kind of stuff needs to be on t-shirts so people can see it. <laughs> there you go. Hey, don't give too much out there now. Somebody going to try to think, hey. <laughs> <laughs> <Not just. laughs> so people can see this thing, man. That's, that's for you. That's for you. Therefore, I proved in my life. I mean, I, I pondered these things. Right. I'm a ponder. I be ponder. I be watching. I be watching everything and analyzing and thinking upon it in my heart. Like uh uh um, <laughs> Yahushua Mama. These things I hit upon my heart. Mm hmm. Did out? No, that was uh, that was Yakub did the same thing. Yakub did that when uh, Yahusha told him to dream. He okay. kept, he kept, huh? It was, he kept it. It was one of them. Oh, when, oh, you uh, talking about uh, Yosef? Yeah, Yosef was one of them with uh, with that. He kept it to himself. And then Yo Yakub was another one when. Uh, well, these two different Yosef. Just for just for clarity for people that's listening, we talking about Yosef, the what the husband of Mary. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and we're talking about Yahukub. I mean, Yaakov, to Yahukub, Yaakov, mm -hmm. the father of Yahusef, who when he brought the dream to him, he kept that thing in his heart. He punted mm -hmm. on that thing, he punted on that thing. Yeah, that's it. That's how you're supposed to ponder on the scriptures. That's right. David said, I hide these things upon my heart that I might not sin against thee. Yes, sir. And he said, I wandered not from the truth of the Adonai. And I searched out the commandments of the Most High. He searched out real quick, y'all. He searched out the commandments of the Most High. He didn't just uh, think I know. He searched. He he searched his thing out. That's the, that's the same thing as saying, that word have I hid in my heart. In order for him to have that word in his heart, he had to search for that thing first. Mm, he had to have found it to hide it. Exactly. Seek ye first. Mm-hmm. Of Yah and all his righteousness. That's right. Walking according to all my strength with singleness of faith. That's that inclination towards good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. To that which is good. See what well, he told you right there. <laughs> Take heed, therefore, ye also, my children. Listen, you do the same thing as me. Mm -hmm. Commandment of the Adoni, following the truth with singleness of faith. Keep the command. It can't never be done away with all the books they keep them. Mm -hmm. all the books they keep them. That means they were sufficient for them to do. Eternal. It's an eternal thing. It's forever settled in the Shemaim, man. This is what it is. This is before the temple was ever built. That was commandments to be right. It didn't just sacrifices of animals and all that. There is a way a man should live. That's the commandments. Right. It's Tablets came down from Sinai, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's right. Esther was before, before all that. So there's been a way for a man to live. That's how Enoch was righteous. And then this, this, here go another thing to add on to, uh, real quick, man, for the people to realize, man, that the Most High, when he brought the children of Yahshua and Mitzrayim, his first things wasn't a set up for anything for sacrifices. He didn't, even, that wouldn't even come to mind. That came in because of transgression. But his whole thing was for them to take heed to what he was saying. And if they would have did, there wouldn't even be no need for sacrifices for sins or anything right. like that. Think about that. Sacrifices is for, it's for sin. It's, Without no sin, you don't need sacrifice. Right. So the most high made a way for the people so that they wouldn't die. I'm trying, he being merciful to them. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna let this animal be, I'm gonna let this animal blood be shed on your behalf, man. But you should get it and do my commandment because I didn't command anything about no sacrifices bringing y'all in the wilderness. All I ask y'all to do is take heed, listen, follow my instructions. That's mm -hmm. what I want y'all to do. Obey. If you obey, ain't no need for no sacrifices for sins. Mm. There's offerings. Yeah, that's offerings. Yeah, thank. That's a difference. That's that's a that's a good time. That's a rejoicing. You yeah. know, you know. Let's eat. 
shoot, let's rejoice and eat. But, you know, for sacrifice for sins and stuff like that, that's a different thing, man. Shedding blood, that's a different thing for that for that part right there. He didn't command that in the wilderness. He just commanded the people to take heed. Listen, follow instructions. Right. You know? That's why he said he preferred obedience over yeah. sacrifice. That's right. See, this, this is the problem you get in, you know, with the lawyers and whatnot, man. You know, it, it's the lawyers still exist to this day. You know, the scribes and the Pharisees and whatnot. They still exist. Now, now it's a twofold. Just like this, it's twofold. It's good that they bring the law and they give you the law and the and the commandments but to some of these people that's their whole focus they focus on the physical you know bring bring your lambs bring your goats and all bring it on down no how about refraining from sin so exactly right right so we don't have to bring no goats and no sin but now they turned his temple into a den of thieves because they wanted that's what they profited off of selling they the the money off of it. right yeah. exactly so why would i why would listen that if that's a mean this and this is to a wicked that's to a wicked nation why would they want to tell him the truth and in, in first of all in order for you to do right you have to know right and if you withhold and right information and the right instruction for the people to do so they can do right so that mm -hmm. they can keep doing wrong so that they can keep selling selling your stuff to them to make money it's just like it ain't no ain't no money in that see it wasn't no money in, in bring like in this in today's time it ain't no money in yeah. hard-hearted healing you know what i mean it ain't no money in healing people it ain't no money in that it's, it's it's money in creating pills and selling them little stuff to keep get them by the pacifier and i can get rich are, are you being treated with sin <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. are you being treated are you being cured i don't want you like the doctor i want that right. I want to be cured of this thing. I don't want no that's right, and that's why I got tired. That's why I got tired. I got tired at that. I, I didn't. Somebody why like, some I heard somebody say something about you know some people study because that's what they do. They look. They looking for the plot. That, that that's not me. What I'm doing for I got tired. I'm like man, what something ain't working here. What am I doing? And then okay, I gotta confess these. Okay, I confess. Okay, I'm gonna let it be known, man. I did this. I done that. Look, I'm not doing it no more. Uh, right. what I gotta do now? You see what I'm saying? Okay, follow these instructions, keep my commandments, follow it through. Okay, well, I wasn't doing that, so let me change and, and repent and change from that. Father, forgive me for that, and don't do that thing again and live that life like walk it out, man. Let's be practical. Yeah, practical, man. What's the point of you learning something? You ain't practically good. What's the point of just knowing it, just knowing that's where the point where knowledge puffs up a charity edify. What the point? What's the point of knowing something if you're not gonna do it? You're just a library of knowledge, but then in they the end, you're just throw away. They ever learn and never coming into the knowledge of the Most High Yah, man. Right. The knowledge of the Most High Yah is for you to be obedient and take heed to what he's saying so it may be well with you, man. I want things to be well with me. I've been through the fire. Yeah. I've been through. I ain't going to lie to you, man. I've been through the fire. Even recently. I've been through certain things because of what I've done. I'm tired of that. I want to be well. I want all things to be well. Father, I surrender. Yes, sir. I'm getting that. And I'm glad that the Most High Yah has put it on your heart and allowed us to come together and meet each other to have this thing right here to chop down them damn idols. Chop them down. Comes from teaching. Yes. We, we need right teaching. We oh, need we got, the truth. Got them pinksters too. Right. right. I don't care what what person. Listen, I don't care about your moray. I don't care about your elder. I don't care about them. I I care about them, but I don't care about how they feel in regards to bringing forth this truth and cutting down false teachings and idols. Yes. No, we don't care. We don't care. We don't yeah, we don't care on that point. But we care. We love our people. Yes. That's why yeah. we're bringing it out. It first applies to, in order to bring it, you got to apply to yourself first. We love the sin or hate the sin. Now, Abu, now, he don't really. We love the people. We don't. Not the sinner. We will you not be sinners. We will right. not be sinners. What did Father say? Father say he desired not for no one to perish, but that all men repent to shub. And come to the knowledge of the truth. What is the knowledge of the truth? See, this is the part where we're not supposed to be ever learning and not coming to the knowledge of the truth. We're supposed to be learning to do. We learn these things to do. And when you're doing, that's a manifestation of that that you learned. And now you got it. You know, now you're walking in it. I just you're living it. it. Huh? What is the truth of the matter? The truth of the matter is that we sin and 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 have done wrongly against the most high God. Right. That is but true. Commandments. Then we got to go in and find out what those are. And then we find out how we've done wickedly. We've we've cleaved unto the ways of the heathen. We've taken on 
cards and they wave. Like this is what, like this is what the airlines that what is the truth? The truth is that the people have fallen from where the most high would have them to be. Right. And here go another thing too. I'm for to chop some that's chop some chop some roofs down. Click, click, click. Right. People at once upon a time, like how when marijuana was illegal, because the law of the land said it was illegal. Now the law of the land says it's legal. Now everybody running around doing these things and doing the thing and thinking it's okay, right? Smoking it, putting it into their temple, in their body, smoking these things and stuff like that. I mean, let's talk about it, man. I'm saying, man, and not only that, the law of the land also said, everybody always talking about following the law of the land. That's their rules and stuff. They also said it's okay for two men to marry each other. They also yeah. said it's, two, it's okay for two women to marry each other. They also okay. say that it's it's a point that uh, I think a man can marry their animal. Right. See? Now I don't talk about that. Doc. Now I don't want to talk about that part. I don't talk about it. Cut them out. Cut them. Get them. Get them. That's crazy, man. We that's why the most I say keep my laws. Follow my instructions. We got to do that at all costs. And we're gonna be talking. So what? Who you gonna stand for? Look, I don't want no friend. Let me tell you something. I don't want no friend. I don't want no brother that's going to be with me on good time. When bad time comes, I don't know you. Now, nah, you got to stand with the most high and through good and bad. That means whatever's coming upon you, whatever he allowed to come your way, deal with it. Stand, Make a stand for him, though. Honor him, because in, in, in the end, he's going to honor you. Honor the most high, y'all, by keeping this. Let, let us hear the whole conclusion in the matter of the, of, the, of the matter. To fear The whole conclusion of the matter is to fear y'all. And to keep his commandments. We read that yes the other day. What was it? The day before yesterday when we read Dabarim chapter five, where he said, you know, Moshe, you go up and whatever you say we would do. Because they was afraid. He said, Man, I, I would that they had a heart like this always. What? That they fear me, mm -hmm. reverence me, and keep my instructions. That's what the whole matter of the thing is, what Solomon was talking about. Fearing Yah and keeping his commandments. Because that's what Yah said in the beginning when he brought the children of Yasha all out to the Mizraim that they have a heart like this to reverence me and keep my commandments. Just like a parent. you like, I don't want to have to beat your ass all the time. I would that you just know that you got an ass whooping coming and you do right. Right. But I will. What he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'll beat that ass. Yes, indeed. Yes, I don't sir. want to. I just want you to listen. Be an obedient child, yeah. man. But I will put that. I'll put that ride to your ass. Know that. Oh, in love. That's in love, yeah, <laughs> yeah. In expectation that it's gonna, it's gonna yield uh, repentance to yeah. obedience unto yeah. obedience. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah, man. That's what it's about, man. We gotta come on, man. Look, we the things of the natural help you understand the things of the spirit. I, I see what my grandma, great grandma, Neil was talking about, and I see what y'all are saying. You know, you do it wrong. They want to beat that butt. They whoop that butt. Don't spread a rod. Spread a rod. Spoil the child. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction drives it far from them. Mm. Aren't we not the children of the Most High? Didn't we not have foolishness bound up in our hearts? Now we get the rod of correction, whether it be speech or physical uh, correction. Mm. Getting beat up by the police. Thrown in jail. All kind of different things. Stuff happening, not really, and people not even considering why these things happening. Go ahead, Art. So, one, take heed, therefore, ye also, my children, the commandments of the Adonai, following the truth with singleness of faith. For they that are double faced are guilty of a twofold sin, for they both do the evil thing, and they have pleasure in them that do it the example of the spirits of deceit and striving against mankind. Mm -hmm. Therefore, my children, keep the law of the Adonai and give not heed unto evil as unto good, but look unto the thing that is really good and mm -hmm. keep all commandments of the Adonai having your conversation therein and resting therein. Yes, sir. The latter ends of men do show their righteousness or unrighteousness. Oof. Right. Look, you see some old people out here doing bad. What are they doing bad? Because they let the in show what they've been doing their whole life. When they meet the angels of the Adonai and the well, no, he's talking about when you die. This is uh, <laughs> this is Ghost right here. You remember on Ghost with uh old boy Patrick Swayze? Uh huh. <laughs> when them demons come get him, they was yeah, wicked. Man. 
Uh huh. Come them shadows coming up to get the people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's a real thing. The me just know what they were talking about. So when the soul departs trouble, it is tormented by the evil spirit, which also is served. It served in lust and evil works. But if he is peaceful with joy, he meeteth the angel of peace. The block of peace, and he leadeth him into eternal life. Hallelujah. My children in Sodom, which sinned against the Malachs of the Adonai and perished forever. For I know that ye shall sin and be delivered into the hands of your enemies, and your land shall be made desolate. Mm -hmm. This place is destroyed, and ye mm -hmm. shall be scattered unto the four corners of the earth, and ye shall be set at naught in the, disper in the dispersion, vanishing away as water. Mm. Most high shall visit the earth. Coming himself as man with men eating and drinking. That's what that's see, this is one of them parts where I'd be like, it was some kind of translation. Well, well, this is the thing. This is the thing I want you to see, man. It says that yeah, the most high was in Yahusha re reconciling the world back into himself. So that's the same thing of what they're talking about, you know, because that yeah, you gotta realize that Yahusha is the temple and the Ruach of Yahweh, the wells in the temple of man, not made with hands. So it was made by the most high's hand. So the most high did come as man, as man. Yeah. Not being him, he came as man because his ruach dwelt in the Mashiach, eating and drinking with men. Uh, yeah, that's what it's talking about. Mashiach Yahusha, it was the yeah. it was the father in him reconciling man to himself. So when he was seeking the most high's will, he had to go through all those things because he was a man and he had to let and he, he was a willing vessel, he was willing and obedient, and he did everything that the most high did because that's the vessel that the, the most high chose to dwell in to come upon this earth to bring forth what he wanted to bring forth. That's why things was being done, you know, in him. That's what that's saying. That's what I see. All right. I feel that. I feel that too. Coming himself as man with men eating and drinking and breaking the head of the dragon in the water. See, that's where that that's where that that's where that prophecy came in uh <clears throat> with Adam and Hawa, right? That he would he would bruise the head of the serpent and the serpent would bruise his heel. Mm. Yeah. He shall save Yahshua and all the Gentiles. See, this is another. Ain't no Israel only, man. Ain't no Israel only because this is Yahshua as the nation, not right. the because the kingdom was called Gentiles. Mm -hmm. New Testament, but they have both because this is all inclusive. Now, now let me say, let me share another little thing that tie back in with the root, with the uh, I'm sorry, it's the root speak with the uh, the new with the bread out of Shaw. It says that when Mashiach was talking to his people, he said, uh, I have sheep that's not of this foe. What foe he's talking about of Yasha, them also I must bring. Mm. So that's talking about people outside of Yasha, all the Gentiles, right? Even in the person of man, therefore, do ye also, my children, tell these things to your children that they disobey him not. Right. I have known that ye shall assuredly be disobedient and assuredly mm -hmm. act on God, not giving heed to the law of Yah, but to the commandments of men being corrupted through wickedness. That's what they're doing right now. Listen, people don't understand. Look, you could be wicked by not following the instruction that the Most High Yah said. That's wicked. Mm -hmm. Look, listen, wickedness is not just, it's, it's, it's more corruption, but it's also, have you ever seen a wicker chair? Like it's out of place. Being out of place can be wicked. You get what I'm saying? See, the, it, it was a testament where it says that the stars, well, I think that's in the book of Enoch, where the stars that did not be, that, that left their place or whatever. See, the stars are put in, the Kuka beam are put in the uh, heavens in a specific place that the Most High chose. Now, those that fail or didn't follow or stay in their place, that's wicked. That's it, it, They got a place for stuff like that. So when you not in the place that the Most High calls you to be in regards of walking in his commandments and doing those things that he said, then you are a wicked person. That's wicked. It's wicked to to follow after the nations. It's wicked to have other deities other than the Most High Yah. It's wicked to do all these things. It's wicked to stay. It's wicked to do these things. That it's, it's wicked to do anything outside of what Yah has told you, man. That's wicked. Satan is wicked. That's the, the devil. That's wicked. Lying and doing all that. That's wicked. Oh. Uh. And therefore shall ye be scattered as Gad and Dan, my brethren. And ye shall know not your lands, tribe and tongue. Mm. Wow. Wow. 
Why are we doing that? And we look, they're not following the commandments of Yah, but they the commandments of man being corrupted through wickedness, through false teachings, through teachings that's not in line with the script. And then he said that they gonna we gonna be scattered, not even knowing our own tongue, land. You shall not know your lands, tribe, and tongue. You don't even know where your land is. You know uh, what if it's in, well, where your land is specifically? I don't know who you are. What what tribe are you? What's your I don't know. It, it, I mean, these prophecies are hit dead on, man. But look, this is this is what the basur. This is good right here. This is what was being read to you. I'm being prompt so you can see these things, and they come in one after the other. We read about this stuff in Ezekiel. We read about it. Dabarim. Look at chapter four, uh, verse forty-five. What it's about to say, man. But the Adonai will gather you together in faith through His tender mercy. Now, hold on, to gather you in faith. What's faith again? Up. Emunah is Emunah come by hearing and hearing of the word. Emunah is the substance of things expected with evidence of things not seen. However, how it comes is that you have to hear the word of Yah. So faith in its all entirety and context only comes by hearing the word of Yah. Oh. See, people, yeah, people misuse faith. They they hear something and say, ah, oh, this guy told me to go and take this. Listen, faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of Yah. So the word of Yah is that Emunah is having this. You operate in that through that. When you listen to what the word of Yah say and you follow that. That's how he's going to gather you through that. But y'all will gather you together in Amunah through his tender mercy. We read in Ezekiel the other day. I just want to bring this out to put all this tight stuff together, man. This ain't no, uh, this stuff, is, this is, man, this is y'all pouring out his rock upon the floor and, and people prophesying and speaking. Look, it's all one after another. We spoke about this in Ezekiel 35 and 36. About you know how the most high said he gonna do these things, see, and we believe and trust it, man. So, you know, and then the commandments that we're hearing and teaching, we lining up with it because we know that he's about to make his appearance. So we got to purify ourselves. <laughs> you know that it's coming, so you got to you got to purify yourself. So we in this time of introspection, we got to get this thing right. And it and it so happened to be the time of atonement, man. Mm. And you know, in an atonement, what you did, you come confessing, you humble and afflict yourself. And confessing and forsaking and start doing what was required for you to do in the first place. We have been contrary to you, and you have been contrary to us. That's right. We, we went wrong first. Yeah, that's true. His tender mercy, and for the sake of Abraham, Isaac, and your code. That's not Abraham. You see why? Hold on, wait a minute. I, I just want to make this tie in for those that are. Are known with the script now. For those that don't know you, you when you read, if you stay diligent and stay studying, you will come across it. Y'all made an oath to Abraham, Yitzhak and Yaakov, to give them a land and children. So when they gave him that land, he said, "Look, but Yah will gather you together in Amunah through His tender mercy, and for the and that means also." For the sake of Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. You see that? Those that know the script, y'all see. I'm sure y'all know it. Y'all hear it. Y'all see it. What did he make? What did he do? What for? What do you mean for the sake of Abraham? He made. He, he promised them with, with an oath to give them a land to them and to his seed forever. So he said, so in his tender mercy, in his mercy, he's going to gather us through faith, together in faith, in Amunah. People thinking that we're going to come out with, look, could the substance that we're going to come out, we're coming out with great substance now. We're going to come out with great substance. That means, okay, Emunah is the substance of things expected. I want y'all to hear me, man. I'm telling this is, look, Emunah is the, Emunah, what people say faith. Emunah is the substance of things expected. I don't like to use the word H-O-P-E. I want to use expectancy because listen. And it's, in, and it's in line because you don't, if you have something already, there's no need for you to expect it. So, Amunai is the substance of things expected. The evidence of things not yet seen. Like, we don't see this thing yet. But what we do have is the word of Yah telling us that these things, we're about to receive these, we're going to receive these things if we endure. We have to endure. I say if we endure, and I want to say, I want to bring out that endure because I don't want no. I don't want nobody thinking. Uh, put an evil thinking that we can. Oh, the most I can bring us out anyway, so we can live as we. Who to say that you gonna make it today, with that type of mindset? You're talking about in doing and maintaining righteousness. Yeah, maintaining righteousness. What, what what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to make it clear 
what I'm saying is a, per a person may have the mindset of saying, okay, well, the most I'm going to bring us out anyway to the winners of the people, then I, I can still do what I do. Okay, well, think like that then if you want to, to your own detriment, because you're not promised tomorrow, bro. You might die today. Right, you might die today, die tomorrow. Don't think that way. The most I might smack you down because you're thinking like that. It's going to be so, a judgment in the wilderness, too. The people need to exactly. understand. That's why me and my brother and other brothers, we've been talking about the unity and learning to dwell with each other and learning to love each other because in the wilderness, man, if if you ain't got a certain mindset, you're not going to make it through. We're not just going straight into the land. we got to be That's true. Right. The world is That's right. Right from among us. And if you ain't built up certain character traits, you're going to be counted as one of them rebels. That's right. Right, because you're gonna fight, you're gonna complain, you're gonna hate, you're gonna lust, you're gonna envy, you're gonna do all this stuff if you don't know how to work it out now. And you're not gonna make it into the lane. You're gonna and let me put in this and let me put it in a similar tool for those people to comprehend this thing real quick to put break it down to as low as decibel. It's like when you in a sport, say you in boxing, you haven't done no kind of training, but you're ready to box, you got a fight coming up. You ain't did no training, you ain't conditioned your body, you ain't did none of that. You get in that ring, you get knocked out. <laughs> get knocked out. You get knocked out, even though you a good fight on the street or whatever, but you haven't trained. This other person been training, running, doing everything, building up his in, in, endurance and stamina and everything, man, and just practicing, boom, boom, boom. So when he get into that ring, it's going to show. Oh, he ain't been training. <laughs> he ain't going to make it. And then it's going to show because they're going to be rebels because you, you got to get it now. Get it now. Train, practice now. That's all this is right now is a, 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 a practice field. This is, this is a rehearsal. So when you be you be well equipped, you'll be like the ten virgins, five foolish, five wise, five took extra oil, the other didn't. Then when it was time to go meet the king, the five went in that was ready, but the others that wasn't ready said, "Let us get some of your stuff. You can teach us some of your. Give it. No, nah, man, it might not be enough. Go to them that's bedside selling by. We going. I got to go. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a parable, man. It's similar tools, man. You know, train, get that stuff on, get it in now. And then when you get into the wilderness, it's going to be easier for you. It ain't going to be like a walk in the park because you've been training on these things. We didn't learn and instruct. We didn't, we didn't see how our ancestors fared when they, when they did what they did. So we know what not to do. We know to trust what the most high say when he say it through the, through whoever he's he going to be speaking through in the wilderness. in that time. He said, get up and go. We're going to get up and go. Ain't nobody going to murmur and complain. Not the righteous, not the ones that's going to make it to the land. We're going to get up and go. We're going to do. See, the ones that that, did, that that was in the wilderness last time, they did not continue in the way of the Most High. Yeah, also they was murmuring, they was complaining, they was doing all kind of stuff that wasn't that the Most High that, that, that provoked them to wrath. We we know better. We see that, so we had an advantage. We should be every last one of us should be, but it it just shows you what was the priorities of people when they was in those places when they were scattered. What was their priority? Was their priority on seeking first the kingdom, or was their priority seeking first these uh merchandise? And, and 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 things like that, and, and and materials and all that other stuff. Where was your priority? It's gonna show in the end. He already said it's you know that goes that's the twofold thing, too. It's gonna show in the end when they die, it's gonna show when people get into the wilderness, too. It's that's why I said it shouldn't even be no rebels, it shouldn't be. Not that it's not gonna be, it's gonna be some, of course. We see that. It shouldn't be. We see that now. Yeah, it shouldn't be though. Like, yeah. man. But that's how. That's why all of our battles now are spiritual battles because we've been dealt such a grievous wound and we in the land of in the land of the, the gods. Like this is where they worship all the abominations. They worship all the you know pagan deities. You know what I'm saying? Like they worship all, they goddesses and Wish um um warlocks, witches, you know, people over here giving the all manner of wickedness and folly over here. I mean, it's really the whole world, the whole world is being given and turned over to follow after the imaginations of their own heart. And we know the right. heart is deceitful and desperately weak. Right. So, you know, that's why. This is the awakening. This is the this is the thing spread to the four corners of cutting down those deities. That's what's that's what's being taught. Like, listen, Negro man, Negro woman, 
you the people, but you are how you are. What's been done to you has been done to you because you erred, because you went contrary to the most high y'all. Repent mm-hmm. your wicked ways and 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 seek righteousness. We got so many people happy with the first part. <laughs> They're happy with we the people? Hold on. Bible talking about us? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, we need some fringes. We get a head wrap. And we, you know, they happy with that. Not the second part about the turning from, from what you've been involved with. Right. Put down your idols, turn from your idols, and see the face of the most high y'all, and to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. And then we got it to where people got idols that they either unknowingly worship or that they refuse to acknowledge as being an idol. They want to take that with them. It's like in uh in uh in uh in um Joshua where where the dude took the idols with him. And they was like, you know, only take certain things. Everything else, burn it, leave it. But he want to take a certain thing with him. He not knowing it's gonna cost him his life and his and his whole family's life. That's what this podcast is for. This podcast is to tell you, man, listen, man, you need to leave that thing. You need to put that thing down. That thing gonna get you killed, you and your family. Right. And you know, people don't want to hear it. They, you know, they they this, they that, you know, they 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 judging. They, you know, they got all kind of stuff to keep them from addressing what's really being said. They can't say these are lies. What they say is you know, they ain't delivering it right or you know, they want to come up with all with all kind of stuff because you can't you can't deny the truth, but you disregard the truth. So, you know, but listen, your blood be upon your own head. We just come to tell you about it. You know, you don't you don't have to change, but we got to tell you. So you can't say we never told you, Jack. That's right. <laughs> Let's finish this thing up real quick. Yes, sir. 36. And and when he said these things unto them, he commanded them, saying, Bury me in Hebron. And he fell asleep and died at a good old age, and his sons did as he had commanded them, and they carried him to Hebron and buried him with his fathers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was a good one. We had the youngins over here just. It's crazy how Keith be knowing something. Y'all in the mix. Like, you know, good and well. The same little boy, no one on live. No, I need to be quiet. He came through a 27 time. <laughs> he just want to hear what's going on. He just want to be close. All right. You could have pulled up a seat. You know, you didn't have to walk around. You know, you could have pulled up a seat. And listen. Oh, yeah. Thank I don't even know how to do what it is you want to do. <laughs> it ain't gonna kill him. It ain't gonna kill him. You need a fly swap. You want you gonna make a ton of noise and create all kind of disturbance before you even do what it is you think you want to do. Sam, there he is. There he is. But yeah, man, I'll praise to the most high y'all, man. That uh this thing out. We pray that. People been edified. I don't know who watching. But, uh, yeah. Got anything else you want to say, bro? You want to? Nah, man. I just, I mean, well, just giving thanks to the most high, Yah, man, in the presence, man, of the people, man. I just want to give thanks to Yah, man, and just thank you, Yah, man, for the words that, thank you, Yah, for the words that you brought forth to, uh, making a distinction between the Kadash and the profane and cutting down these idols and bringing forth your truth and words and what we need to turn back to wholeheartedly. We thank you, y'all, for, for all these things. I just want to give thanks to y'all right now, man. Hallelujah. I just want to thank y'all, man. That's it. I ain't really got too much to say. Everything we said. Told y'all, y'all. Told y'all. Told y'all. Told y'all. Your mercy and your grace. Shout out to Yeah. <laughs> so we going to dance God. like Dao to bump the most shade. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Hello, y'all. And Ben Wale, check his album out on YouTube, man. Shout out to Ock Solomon oh. Ben Wale. He said he's on all platforms, so whichever way you stream music, go check him out. He out there. Go oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, close out in prayer, man. I'm gonna get back with the people. Uh, think about 
need to have a top up or something, man. Speak on some of the, some of the things in Yashwaral. Just, you know, like-minded brothers. Them some of the folly. But yeah, we'll get to that. Whatever the rock lead up on your heart to do, man. Rock, how could I rock my lead up on your heart to do? I'm with it, man. Get it. I put it in my heart to do a whole bunch of things. I just need, I need some help. <laughs> you know, what I'm, hey, I'm, I'm only one man, but like you said, one could take a thousand, two could take ten. I'm with you. I'm, with, I'm ready. I need this, bro. I got to have this, bro. This is my life, man. This is my life is in 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 y'all, man. So in everything that y'all say do and do, that's for his righteousness sake. I'm for it, bro. That's what I need, bro. I've been starving from that. You know what I mean? I've been I've been needing that, bro. That's why I say I want to get to a point where we get to a community, get to a part where we can be around each other to do the work together and be living and, and doing what we're supposed to do all every day. Yeah. Yeah. How how great would that be? I'm telling you. Yeah, man, uh close on out and thing if you would. Okay. Let's <clears throat> Baruch Atah Abba Yahweh Lehenu Malachah HaOlam Tura Rabba Bahasham Yahushua HaMashiach Hallelujah Thank you Yahweh for saving your anointed uh, We thank you Abba Yah for this word that you have brought forth Yahweh we thank you for the knowledge that you have given us by your Ruach HaKadosh We thank you by the understanding, the counsel, the might, the reverence We thank you for all these things Yahweh We thank you for the edification that went forth We thank you Yahweh for opening up eyes and ears and making it plain for people to comprehend. We thank you, Father Yahweh. We even thank you for your words of promise that you said you're going to gather us together in faith in the Manah and bring us back to our own place, Yahweh. That you and the promise and the oath that you remember that you made with Father Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, Yahweh. We thank you, Yahweh. We turn wholeheartedly from the teachings of man to turn wholeheartedly toward you by the keeping of your commands, your commandments. And we thank you, Father Yahweh. We say, let your will be done here on earth as it is in Shamayim. We thank you, Father Yahweh, in all things. Let your will and your desire be done forever. Father Yahweh, I ask you that you strengthen my brother to give him all those things that you have for him to do and to put people around that will help and not hinder the work that he has to do. The same thing with me, Father Yahweh. For you have paired us up as you did with your Talmudines back in the day. And you were just like you raising us up again, Yah. So we thank you, Father, Yah, that we bring, that we do those things that are pleasing to you and that we only say those things that you approve of, only. Yeah, yes, Father. In everything, in Yahushua Mashiach's name we ask. We thank you, Father, Yahweh. Hallelujah. So be it. Hallelujah. Wow. <laughs> nigga said, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, how people talk like that in the days of old, the same thing as saying back in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Days old back in the day. Yeah, that's right. That's what people even said. She said she be hearing certain things that how father be working and saying, be like, man, yeah. you can tell he she used word like he black. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, and our people, you can tell them is our people. What people talk like that? Yeah, nigga, I'm just gonna kill everything that piss against the wall. Show me a man. white person speak like that. <laughs> Ain't none of this stuff fit them, man. None of that, like. Even with all the strife and all the stuff that go on amongst the people, you don't really find that in other nations like that. I mean, it, it happens, but I'm saying it's profound with us. And it's right. been happening. This ain't just because of slavery. This ain't just really. This go back to 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 it. Go back to Cain and Abel, the Biden and the and the hate and the envy. So it's right. it's a thing. Oh, I, and then, like, and here go another thing. Y'all let me know a long time ago. I want to share a few things. What? I know a few things. Y'all let me know a long time ago that Dawood was my ancestor, man. He's your ancestor. That's our ancestor. Check this out. He told him that the 12 would never depart from his house. Who? We was over here gang banging, killing each other. Brothers killing brothers. You know what I mean? Like, that's part of the, the, the thing being fulfilled on that, that sword, man, till it. A whole different age come about. Like, man, y'all so awesome, man. He had me have a dream long time ago that I was, we was all walking. It was a vast people walking. I was right there in front. I was walking, but I stopped. And when I stopped, everybody else stopped. Because when I, the reason why I stopped, because it was a big old ditch that we was going to fall into a big old hole. But I stopped and I turned around in the dream. I woke up out the dream. So if these people would have seen that, 
turn around and then that was the same time where the man say i'm not saying i'm not saying it's like i'm trying to exalt myself i'm just speaking truth bro i promise you i'm the, the man came to me that one day and told me man one man can change things and that's true you've seen that through all things one man father abraham he did that thing and through him the promises and all this stuff happened i mean through one man bro and now the most high is doing it we Connecting together, bringing forth these things. Y'all has allowed you to come into my life to show me things, bro. And I got to give honor to whom honors do, man. There's nothing wrong with doing that. All this things to Father Yahweh. However, we do give praise and we do thank the, the brother that's willing and obedient to the Most High Yah to even allow his instructions or counsels to be brought forth in that, man. You know, in, in everything and in, in stuff that I'm doing. Like I said, I had to confess certain things and stuff like that. Ain't nothing else. Ain't nothing hold me. I ain't let nothing hold me. Ain't nothing hold me down. I, I'm clean. I'm clear. I confess everything. I'm walking in it. I'm not playing with this thing. I just want to get with my brother so we can do this thing, like make this stuff happen, bro, with the work, with all this and all things. Yeah. Self-sufficiency, all that. You know what I'm talking about, huh? Yeah, I, I, man, listen, man. Um, it's a lot of that's one of the things coming out, purging the wickedness. Taking the veil off of some of this weakness that's going on in Yashua, man. Yeah. That's a big thing. Also, one, we can't be healed until we do until we confess. We gotta confess, man. Look, man, it's some wickedness going on, man. You brothers right. do bristles, these brothers don't want to work, don't want to do nothing. It, it just this whole compromising with seeing compromising with wickedness, man. It's still gotta be brought out, man. Right, right. That's true, bro. That's true, man. That's the only way it's gonna we're gonna get healed, man. And for those that don't, I pray the most high y'all put it in the righteous heart to do what needs to be done, man. We gotta put hands on some humiliate some people, man. If that's gonna save a person, look, I'm gonna tell you right now. If me putting my hands on somebody's gonna save a person, I'm gonna put my hands on. I say, Father, you direct me now, but I'm gonna throw these yeah. kadash hands, and they ain't gonna be able to stand up these hands, baby. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. Because if he send you to do it, it's because you can be done. You can do it. So, you know, it's it just, I'm just going as it go, man. That whole thing kind of fell into my lap for real. The whole thing about talking about the sisters, you know, it was also totally different. And that conversation just, just sprouted up and brought it up. And it, you know, we read time and time again where it say, the most high um, um, stirred up the spirit, stirred up the ruach, and such and such. Mm -hmm. Thanks, stirred me up, man. Right. Hallelujah. Now, it's getting ready to be like a whole, a whole thing, hopefully, you know, like a whole awareness, whole movement. At least it was somebody. People been knowing about this kind of stuff, but it's like now we got to really make moves to really eradicate this thing, you know. Or to to at least separate ourselves from that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, listen, if this stuff is happening in your congregation, you either gonna separate yourself to purge yourself from it, or don't condone and be a part of. Then your whole congregation gotta be purged from the nation. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is where we coming into this this you know the, the separation. Now the most high y'all is gonna come in. And put the real judgment down as far as you know your soul and all that, right? I feel like people can get touched, man. Discipline ain't never listen. Discipline is all through the scriptures, man. All through that thing. We talk about that, you know, because of that Christian mindset of of you know, let y'all handle it. That's what shepherds and sheep is for. People think, you know, they deal with their little group, with their little congregation. That's that single mindedness. That's not that's not twelve tribes, one nation. Right. We gotta stop allowing, you know, the drug dealers, the harlots, the people that's that's causing things that cause desolation. These people gotta be removed, man. They gotta be rebuked unto repentance. Right. They don't wanna repent. They gotta be dealt with, man. It just ain't no getting around. It just ain't no getting People don't want to get their hands dirty. People don't want to say what needs to be said. They don't want to hurt feelings. Listen, you're not going to get into the game. Mm -hmm. You that type of mindset. You don't want to, you know, you go on and on the folly. Mm -hmm. 
You gonna make it. You can't make it. How you gonna make it? It's the yeah. unjust balance. Yeah. So we we talking about true kadashness over here, man. That's all it's about, man. Really walking in it, really living it, really being it. You know, true kadashness, man. True kadashness. I say kadashness. I put the ness on it on the end. <laughs> kadashness. <laughs> ain't that uh? No, I'm thinking of Sadiq. Sadiq, righteous, righteous. Sadiq, Sadiq. Sadiq. How do you spell it? I spelled that thing S A D Q. I mean, you know, you spell and you what you basically doing is just spelling the way it sounds. But you know, in in the breed, it's you know the tau. It's a uh, it's a uh, not a tau, but a, a zadi, a zadi. So that zadi make the z z z like a z, almost a t z t s sound, almost like a z zadi. That zadi is almost in like in Zion. It's really sion 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 that o o. But anyway, you know semantics. But yeah, Saudi. The, 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 man, you really. You, you I want to know. That's I be wanting to know because I don't want nobody to deceive me, man. I, I not now, man. I don't want nobody deceiving me. I want to know for myself. People been saying things. I've been seeing people saying things. And then go research to find out different. Like nah, man, I can't. And they sound good. It, they had me convinced once upon a time. Mm. Like nah, man. So I wanted to learn the thing for myself and find out what it word. Yeah, even though I, I might can read it. And get it with certain words. I don't understand what the word, what the meaning is. And then I got a problem with that or even with certain things when I go find out, go on, online to see the definition that they give. And I'm like, I don't trust that. <laughs> I don't trust the definition that they give. Wrong things. Yeah. So it's like, now that I know that it brings a sad, it brings like a, I wouldn't say misery. A sadness type. It's like, oh, Father, yeah, you know my heart. You know I'm really, I just want to know this thing to do. Not to know it, just to be knowing and try to present myself as, oh, look, I, I got all this knowledge. No, to do, because I want to do everything according to the way you said it. I don't want the traditions of men. I don't want it. They can have that. I ain't with none of that. Y'all keep that. Y'all tradition, y'all tradition, y'all selves over there. <laughs> I, want, I want to follow y'all in the way he said thing. That's it. That's the only reason why I study to get that. I say you, you um, like the thing said, uh, not taking the seemingly good. Right. But you want the genuine. I want the genuine. It's a way that seems right, but it only leads to death. I don't want that. I want life. I don't want religion. I don't want tradition. I want Yah's way, period. That's all I want, man. Because that's what's going to keep me and save me, man, and make me well. I don't want none of that stuff. Bro, common sense will tell you, but I don't want that. I want that that's going to keep and save me. Give me that, that, sub, that true substance. I don't want that other face stuff, man, and all that other stuff. Y'all can keep that. Y'all can play church all day long over there. Do your thing. I ain't going to mess with you. I'm going to speak about what's... We're going to speak. We're going to cut down idols and wickedness and all this other stuff. And we're going to live righteous and live Kadash in word and deed. Yeah, we're going to do that, man. We're doing it now, man. That's why I thank the Most High Yah for even, even giving us the ability to even confess things and forsake things and walk right. That's an honor, man. That's a that's a kindness that the Most High Yah has given us, you know, to even have the ability to turn from sin. It's a kindness, man. You don't have to do that. Stuck in sin. That's over with, man. Believing it's right. Could you imagine? You know these people out here dogging their wives out thinking they're doing a, a, a good thing when we just read no no i was reading earlier about how um when a man loves his wife as his self you know what i'm saying like he treated like his own wife. how is you loving your wife as yourself if you be known do you be right yourself? right no one won't beat themselves now. And I mean it. I'm going to say it again, man. For those that want to beat on their wives and stuff, man, if you want to fight something, something, come fight me, man. I'll give you my address, bro. I'm not playing. You want to try me on it? Come get my address, bro. I, I show me where you at. I'll pull up on you. When I got time to move around, we can pull up on each other. You think I'm playing? Let's do it. We can go box. We can do this. Just don't hit on your sister. Don't hit on your wife. Learn something. We can take your frustration on me. I'm going to take it out on you then. We're going to do it like that. And we can mm. box and we can get it over with, man. And then, hey, you know. Whoever win or whatever win, but just don't fight on the woman, man. That woman ain't made to be beat on, man. You know, you want to fight on somebody, fight me, bro. I ain't going to hold no grudge against you. Get it? I ain't going to take you up on it. 
uh, because it's a reason why they do that. It's a reason why they hit on these women like that, man. It's because they, they got issues. They got underlying issues, and that's the way it is. They generally probably hate women because of they've been done wrong by one, done wrong by their mama, done wrong by whatever. People got... That's not an excuse, though, man. We all have been... Listen, I, I have been through a lot of traumatic experience, bro. I'm not allowing that to stop me and using that as an excuse. I'm going to do it. I'll do it. Ain't no excuse because some kind of way you got to be purged from that thing. Yeah. And maybe having it did to you will make you understand how it ought not to be done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe I'll drop my ass for it make you say, well, you know, I didn't like that. <laughs> Like you one of them dean moments. You get, you get, oh, hey, maker, you got a little ping. Oh, oh, I got it now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we had to fine tune that TV a little bit. <laughs> I didn't like when he put his, put his hands on me. Right. Hey, hey, you remember the old time back in the day when they got the TVs where it's static, you got it, hit it on the side of the head and it straighten up. Yeah. Hey, that's all I need. A good old little tapping. Let me give you a little kadosh tapping. Yeah. You okay. call it knocking some fits into you. <laughs> That's it. It's into you. Into you. That hand, that bright, that mighty hand. Man. Hey, what was that on the wood when he was like, and I seen a hand coming down from heaven and and he was getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that on the wood? It sounds familiar, man, but it's been a while since I've seen it. It's been a while, yeah. He was uh he was getting beat up by the girl's brother, man. Yeah, and he was like, he was looking, and he was just saying, he was like, and I'm hands from heaven, <laughs> and it was dude punching him. <laughs> yeah, but y'all's good, man. We, huh? I get squeezed a uh, a butt and brain and a brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she got a brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, man. Well, man, thank y'all for getting in. Understand we two two hours and thirty minutes in this thing. Time flies, man. When I'm talking with my brother, man, it's twelve o'clock. You know, it's the uh, moment. I hadn't ate nothing since yesterday. You know, but sitting here talking to my brother, man, I don't even feel hungry, man. <laughs> Water, and I had nothing to drink, man. But, you know, when you're talking about the Kodash things, man, it, hey, it's, it's like it's nothing, man. Right. That's what keeps you strong and strengthening that, that, that it sustains you. You know, that word sustain you, man. It's beautiful, bro. Just imagine us like that all the time, man. We ain't got we only eating because we not that we hungry as hurting us and we need to, is that you know, we just doing it for celebration because we choose to do so, man. Right. Yeah, it's not that we need it. Yeah, it's awesome, man. That's that manna, that's that manna coming down from the Shemaim that we eating. That's sustainable. We ain't the ones saying, What is this? We ain't the ones saying it's a trifle. Now this stuff is good. Delicious. Is there gonna be any meat in the kingdom? I just I just thought about it. Is it gonna be any meat? Because the animals is gonna dwell in peace and safety. Right. You talking about in the after the great white, after the you know how people say the great white throne judgment and the eternity and stuff like that. I don't know. I know it's gonna be some uh it's gonna be some wine, it's gonna be some baye. Yeah, but what I was about to say is that I think we don't recognize the time framing based on the time that, you know, because that time frame can be a long little time when, when it be restored back and it's going to be sacrifices again. And then it's going to be like, you know, uh, people going to be living long lives and whoever died at the age of 100 going to be considered a curse. Mm. In those times. But it's going to be a time even after that, ain't it? Yeah, it's gonna so be they, like, I don't know how it's gonna be and how it's gonna seem because you know the most we hear about these things, huh? When Hassan comes out of the pit after the thousand year reign, but then it's like kind of years of those. Are they real, like like he break years, or are they like Yah's years where a day is like a thousand, right? So, that's what the Shabbat day come in there too, and the, 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 the fulfillment, the realness of the Shabbat day with the thousand year reign in the Sabbath and the rule. The thousand, it's a thousand year reign. That's why they say the rain. The Shabbat is a raining. It's a raining. It's gonna uh. be a raining. We're gonna be raining and ruling in that Shabbat time. He he created everything in six days on seven day. He rests because everything had its function and and and, and he just sat back and and, and seen and, and ruled. Uh. And we're gonna be raining in that thousand year. Period with Mashiach 
for, for those and that and then they go back to revelation to them that endure to the end i'm gonna cause to sit down uh on the throne like my father calls me and i'm he's gonna reign with me as my father gave me you know what i mean this, you know what i'm saying so he will give us judges and rulers yeah he gonna give us jeremiah like jeremiah yeah. Saul, samuel Elias, you know, all that stuff. My mama told me one time, she said, I should have named you Jeremiah. I kept asking my mama the other day. I said, Mama, why you say that? I don't remember saying, I said, Mama, you was right there in the front room when you said it. I said, Oh, you must have been possessed. You must have been, the spirit must have came on you sometimes. So, you know, he called Yermi Yahoo the weeping, weeping prophet, you know, weeping. He used to cry for the people and all that. And then it came to a time when he seen how it, how wicked the people were. He, that crying was over. He was like, Oh, let them, don't even forget him of their sins. Let them, <laughs> they was doing some. They were doing some hurt. They were doing some mean stuff, man. But they all the stuff that y'all want, man, huh? The visions of the, you know, of the prophets and how they, you know, okay, it's they into, like Superman. You know how big of an abomination it is? Like, these things scared the prophets when they saw it. When they saw the visions of now, they were like, oh, oh, please. <laughs> what has what has happened? They all these people have been given over to all manner of wickedness. I'm telling you, you just imagine the prophets coming back seeing yeah. the wop 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 video. That's how far we move. Yeah, from Sarah, right. like, it's 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 an abomination. Right. And people think it's normal. Like wickedness is normal to righteousness is abnormal. This is the time we're living in right now. The righteousness is a thing of like it's like like almost like, like you thought of as wicked. The wicked called the righteous wicked. Right. How backwards is that? It is backwards. I had a, the most I put a song with me a long time ago said the light zone, prepare for battle in the fight zone. The enemy, which the devil, have people confused, thinking that right is wrong. I, living like right is wrong. Something like that. It was a long song, man. They, they thinking, you know huh? It used to flow back in the day. I stopped though, but yeah, I, I did. Oh, shout, shout. Out the gathering. I heard you. I heard that you. was that same. That was that same song I wrote a long time ago. That y'all put on my heart back then. I say y'all put on my heart. I was asking. I was asking at the time. I was like, you know, I was asking. Her, what I knew, what I called Holy Spirit back then, to give me the ability to speak, you know, the song, write and rap, and it was a song called "It's the Truth." And uh, I'm gonna say it real quick. It was like, it's time to get it right and make up your mind. Most of the people think they can see, but they really spiritually blind. It's time to repent and live right and let the light in you shine and stop worshiping idols like the money. You, stop worshiping idols like the money you accumulate on your grind. You see, I'm living right. This word right here is for you. That you the only one be held accountable for the things that you do. And I changed the words now that I know you. It's time to, uh, it's, that you the only one be held accountable for the things you do. Wise words, examine yourself and check the lifestyle that you lead. Because if you indulge in it wrong, doing this Yahusha that you need. This verse, walk <laughs> for young man's lost in the streets. Repent and turn to Yah so it can be a left unto your feet and direct your path. So without Yah, you can't, you ain't going to last. So see forgiveness, be sincere and open your mouth and ask. I'm here to tell you salvation is here right now. So receive Yahusha so you won't be left out. And that was the first verse. And it goes, it's true. You got to hear the way. <laughs> Ooh, man, bring that back out. I gotta bring that back down. Right, I'm trying to here. figure out how to say it right again with the same thing. And the second verse go like this real quick. I right, go, uh, the light zone. I'm prepared for battle in the fight zone. The enemy, which the devil, have people confused, living like rights wrong. But I stand strong and I stand firm. When will you people learn that you don't play with y'all? Y'all's consuming fire, you get burned. Burn, it's time to turn, repent, and change from your wicked ways. You reap destruction upon yourself, and you headed to the grave. Y'all sent me to tell you, see, you set yourself for failure. It's time to start living for real for y'all and stop being rebellious. You've been a slave, being a slave. Hell, but accept the thoughts in your mind. It's time to change, time to change, time to start living a yali life. It's not a game. Matter of fact, it's an open shame because y'all watching it's time to change your ways and turn to y'all because the tick is talking meaning the clock is winding tick tock tick the main message of this verse that you need to repent it's the truth you know what I mean? yeah stay the yeah she talking about bars <laughs> that's all good shabbat shalom sis shabbat shalom how you doing <laughs> all right <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> she's gonna get on this thing uh what you call it a a, a, a grand appearance no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to yeah. appear. Yeah. 
Uh, about to give you your close up, Mrs. Deville. All you need is a profile picture. That's the only way I know how she look. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm gonna stop. All right, man. Let's uh at least close out the live, man. Yeah, let's do that. Right. Thank you all for Hello, y'all. Mark Six Seven Podcast. Till next time. Twelve tribes. One nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.